Uh, kia ora folks, just realised I hadn't pushed go live yet. A bit of a rookie mistake. Eden Roskill, pro water blasting, they won the toss and elected to bat. Swam to Sai, the captain for this game. It's been the one boundary so far. It's the bat of uh, Vandenberg. Got some good bowling from both uh, Peter Ruffle, who's currently bowling from the <coughs> netball end, and Jordan Sussex from the uh, car park end. This time drives just a bit off though, uh, to cover, sorry. Do apologise for a bit of delay. Conditions, it's a bit overcast. The sun is trying to make its way through the clouds, but um, nothing threatening rain-wise. As this time drives, and just down to cover. Ends the over. Eight gone. It's 13 without loss. Dot off the first ball of Sussex's new over. Is known for nine in his fourth. Bowling right arm over to Swayam Desai, the even Roscoe Pro Water Blasting Wolves captain for this match. Next ball just hops back in the crease there, plays it to mid on, and a quick single taken. the left-handed Vandenberg on strike. You can hear that wind whip through the microphone. I'll just chuck my jumper over the top of it to try and uh, restrict a bit of the wind. It's the next ball, Sussex right arm round to Vandenberg. Just lets it go through the keeper. Ball from Sussex, fourth ball of the over, just drives this down to mid off. Vandenberg, goodly Hollister does the fielding. Met him a few weeks ago, he was playing in his first um, last man stands game. It was only last man stands game to date, he said.
This time drives Dentamid on, though, in good fielding. One to come in the in the uh, over. The seventh of the over. Seventh over of the innings. Around this one driven through extra cover, chase going on there, and we pulled in. They'll pick up two though. Sandenberg ends over on 14, Desai at the other end, two, and Sussex four overs, none for 12. First ball of Ruffles, new over. It's Dot. None for four in his fourth over. Got any comments or questions, folks? Put them on the uh, live stream. I do check often. Uh, just has to be um, PG, please. <laughs> this one's just played down to mid on. Uh, my third time actually commentating and live streaming at Aniwa Domain. I've done a couple of rugby matches over at Takapuni Le Grand Rugby. The New Zealand Rugby, so... First time I've done cricket out here though. Next ball decide, decides to play and then decides to leave. Caught in a bit of a couple of minds there. But wasn't in too much trouble. Australia 154 for four at the moment. Last ball of Ruffles over, and this time pulled round through mid wicket with confidence and before runs.
and ends the over. It's 20 without loss. Do I apologise that that says 20 for one? Peter Ruffle from the car park in. Bong has fits over Vandenberg, just tops back of the crease and lets this go through. Nathan Lyon being dismissed, Henry's got another one, it's 158 for 5 Australia, trailing by 4. Did manage to score a few runs though Lyon, so this one's driven through just forward of cover and we'll just get to the boundary, 4 runs. Next ball flipped round behind Square on the leg side. And back to back boundaries. Four more, he moves to 22. It's 28 without loss. Vandenberg 22, Swam to size 6. There's just a bit of a hold up on play here with the ball being an issue. as though the ball's been found. Cheers, Safi does the uh, running out of the water. Next ball from Sussex and this one's just driven down to mid-off. Sun's starting to poke itself out a little bit.
Excuse me. There's a something go down leg. Just a reminder that uh, this is a two day match. Day two taking place tomorrow, Sunday the 10th, rather than uh, next Saturday. Just to fit the full cricket season in before Easter. Takapuna and Eden Ross will pro water blasting both at home in the last round of matches. Eden Roskill taking on Parnell as Epson's lick goes through the keeper. Ends the ninth. It is 28 without loss. First change at the bowling crease happening at the netball centre end. Matt Jones, the left arm spinner. Seven for last week for Takapuna. Not long ago, brought 200 games up for uh, the Takapuna district side. Bowling to Desai on six. And just a forward prod, but uh, nothing on it. Seven for 127 against Cornwall in the last game. A bit of venom by the look of things. Three, four defence strikes. Three dots to start with. On the left arm round, gets the broom out, does decide, doesn't get anything on it. So to go at that ball. Last two seasons at um, Premier Two Day level, he's picked up 30 wickets. This one just played down on the bounce to first slip. An average of 17.87. One three wicket bag and three five wicket bags in innings. As Desai plays this down to mid off. Ends the over to Maiden. 28 without loss. Mitch Marsh has just been dismissed for a duck. LBW off the bowling of Matt Henry. Australia have got a lead of four now in first innings, 166 for six. Russell. 
double bowling change of sorts. Peter Ruffle now bowling, changing ends. There's none for eight of his four overs. Shot. First ball is behind point and will be four runs. No ball for height. Thanks very much, Darman. I will apologise for my scoreboard. It does only add them as no balls. It don't add them as runs. So... This is just played at the crease from Vandenberg. He's on 26 now. Sun's come out, so I just had to go to the car behind me and grab a uh, brim. It's a brim for all seasons, to be fair, because uh, I do tend to wear it in rugby as well. You know, you get more rain than, than uh, shine in a Aotearoa New Zealand winter. It does help to keep the rain off the glasses. So it's on, just played inside the line there. So I'll just play down to Gully from Vandenberg. Soft hands from both batters at the moment. Wind is really picking up at the moment, but uh, that's things. This is what three mid wicket and we four. Dealing in boundaries, second one of the over. Most of 30. The size six ruffle. Nine off this over at the moment. None for 17 in this one to come in this fifth. Stops back into the crease and plays this and short cover, comes around, fields it on the league side. Ends the over with the dot. 37 without loss after 11.
first ball of Jones is second over. As this one's swept round behind square. I think that could square leg does the fielding. Backs into the crease, just whips us through mid wicket. Mid on comes around and fields it. They take a single. Side on to seven now. Vandenberg on 30, just a reminder, you've got to add four to Vandenberg's score, he scored four up a no ball. Just the uh, scoreboard that I use does only go down as no balls rather than no balls plus runs. Jones's neck first ball, whip round, through mid wicket, and it is one bounce for runs. To 34 now, Vandenberg. This ball just played back to Jones. down and just plays this to mid on, mid on a bit of a sprawling save down there. On board to come and Jones is second over. How's it going bad? Oh it's not bad so far guys. How much is uh, Demi now? Uh, 34 because you've got to add 4 oh. as well, he'll make it 38 at least. Just waiting, yes it will be 4. Here you go Demo! Ends the over. Can it's I take 40, the borders, bro? Six without loss. All right, now the scoreboard's up to date. First ball of Ruffles' new over is a dot. Mid for 17, that's 46 without loss. And Ruffle falls over a bit, but uh, that happens.
Next ball from Ruffle and decide just backs into the crease, plays us to cover. Fourth ball of the over. In this side drives, but just a bit on. Next ball, last ball of the net of the over, and it'll be just down to mid on for one. It's the one off it. It's 47 without loss. Desai eight. And Vandenberg 38. Ruffle six overs, none for 18. Matt Jones to continue from the netball end. Vandenberg will be out, taken at mid wicket. Tried to lift this up and over mid wicket and is out. Good catch taken. And it's 47 for one. Tristan Vanning and Carl, the uh, player that's taken their catch.
Said Mustafa, the new better. And bold! Mustafa's played on! And it's 47 for two. Had Jones on a hat trick now. Neil Patel out to the crease. Mr. Dependable this season for even Roscoe Pro Water Blasting. Has been the side's uh, most consistent batter. It's a hat trick ball for Matt Jones. Does like to take his time at the crease. Neil Patel, he had his maiden. Uh, century a couple of weeks ago on day one against North Shore of 220 balls. Swam to Sai winning the toss this morning in batting. It's two slips in play now for Jones. And a quicker ball, and Patel sees it out quite cleanly for the hat trick. I don't think I've had a hat trick. Um, Gerard has joined in the uh, set, come into the commentary booth. Um, I have called a uh, double hat trick though. So this one's just played soft hands down to first, first slip. That was uh, Donovan Groveler. I called a double hat trick he had. Two off the last balls, you know, two off the last two balls of an over and two off the Next two balls of his over. Last man stands. You probably mean Hrubelai. Oh, well, yeah, well, I already told myself off for saying Lover, Sh uh, Lover Shane earlier because I was like, no, it's not Lover Shane, it's Lover Shuck, man. He's doing that. Ends the over, 47 for two. Australia currently 184 for six. Matt Henry picking up the two wickets so far today. We're going to review them. Only at the last second, Marsh LBW. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm only getting the um, updates. I'm not getting the. You know, I haven't been looking at how and when and why. <laughs> Alex Carey joining Love and Shock. At the crease. Edward Middleton at the bowling crease, right arm wrist spinner. Plays for Gloucester Seconds over in the UK. Overseas pro for Takapuna District this summer. Is Desai. Speaking to the crease. 
this one played down the ground and a quick single to mid on. Desai moves to nine. Last ball of the first over, second, first over from Middleton, it's caught the edge, first slip, and Neil Patel gone, 48 for 3. And that strikes also is it's not uh Andrew Takarori going out, it's uh Mahia Reniga that'll be out um at crease after drinks.
Right, second ball of Jones is over. It's Dot. We hear Raniga, the new batter at the crease. But at the non striker's end. As this one's up and over mid wicket. And just waiting to see. It should be four. No, it's all the way. Six runs. First maximum. Of the innings, he moves to 15. Two slips in play. A wide gully. Point. Short cover. Mid off, mid on. A silly mid off under the helmet. And a mid wicket. Jones's next ball. Backs away. And Sway might go back to back, has he? Yes, he does. It's another six. Back to back sixes for Desai. Moves to 21. Score now 60 for three. Takes away again. This one's four of square leg. And it's a couple of ounces. Four more. Well, we've had a couple of eventful overs. Not for the good for Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting. But um, that one profitable. And it's 65 for three. After 16. As Middleton doing the club back in January, flies out home to back to the UK on Tuesday. As is an appeal for RBW given. Ball to Renega. And no shot offered for an LBW and given! Fourth wicket falls! And this time it's Renega. Sorry, it is Chakra Bordy gone. To apologise for that. The wrong player on strike. And 65 for four.
Mihir Raniga now the new batter of Madro Chakravorty being dismissed. Player that last season scored a lot of runs. It's a cricket ball from Middleton. And Chakraborty just goes back into the crease. Takapuna at the moment with the tails up decks away plays us through cover field it down there they'll pick up one sway him to sight not out on 26 at the moment This one's played into the ground. Two slip does the fielding. Two slips in place. Tries to get hold of this. Goes through the keeper. Ends the over. 66 for four. Just the one run off that over. As well as the wicket. Oh no, it's taken. Sorry, there was a wicket. I do apologise folks, it's 66 for 5, the wicket has fallen. Middleton has a third, and it's 66 for 5. So Sway Desai out for 26, Bold Middleton, Matt Jones to start the new over. It's Jay Patel at the crease. Jones starts with a misfire. Seventh wicket has fallen in uh, Christchurch. Alex Gary being dismissed. Oh, Glenn Phillips is bowling. It's uh, 189 for seven, Australia. Has his half an appeal from short lit leg but um, no it's taken it out the off stump <laughs> and it's six down now the old devil number is out at 66 for six A bit of turn out there by the look of things, hence the int early introduction of spin. And Renega gone for one.
And my bud was if the bed increase. This boy lets go through. He had a bit of um, health issues recently. Come up from the reserves um, team. This one just played at a crease. It's a decent batter, does tend to open for both the reserves and the prems. Just having a chat to the uh, Takapuna coach and president. Um, just off to the left of me here. It's played to cover. Uh, pitch does tend to turn after Christmas. Um, I'm hearing the batting, the batters say that it is turning out there as Bardwaj goes after this. And will be a retrieval mission at six runs. Over mid wicket. And it's 72 for six. Should say big thanks to um, both club sponsors um, Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting is their main sponsor this season. Uh, Byfoot and Thompson sponsoring both uh, clubs. Mount Roscoe, the Eden Roscoe sponsor. It's Bardwise, just plays this at the crease. Ends the over, 72 for 6. Jones, 5 overs, 1 maiden, 3 for 32. Reliance Forex and Speedy Signs are the other sponsors for Eden Roskill. And as I said, for Takapuna, it's um, Barfoot and Thompson. Barfoot and Thompson, they do an amazing job sponsoring um, clubs and teams around the place, like they do. Edward Middleton to continue from the car park end. Two overs, three for two at the moment. Jay Patel on strike. Amon Bardwaj will be happy with that six runs he scored in the over. It's just a forward prod here from Patel. Amon Bardwaj coming off the uh, reserves game last in the last two weeks. Having scored a pair, and sure the terminology in cricket, a pair is a duck in both innings. As Patel drives this back to Middleton. Plays inside this one. And he flicks this one round. And oh, I've just got a bit of pad on that. First slip came round, didn't, didn't quite get to the ball though. Patel waits again, Jay Patel. The left arm pace bowler for Eden Roskill. He's bat in hand. I just flicked the forearm actually, that two balls previously. Great facilities out here at um, Aniwa Domain. Patel just four plays this one. Ends the over. And it's 72 for six. Made an over being bowled from Middleton.
Let Jones continue from the netball centre end. Bowling with two slips and a sh short, short point. So this one's played through cover. They'll pick up two at least. It doesn't quite get to the boundary, but two runs nonetheless. And it's a big rebuilding phase here. Feed and Roskill. Valuable two runs that it is. Left alone this time from Bardwaj. Hit Jones in his last over for six. Currently on eight. And this one plays to the left of mid-off. And will be four runs. Second boundary for Bardwaj. Now moves to 12. Eight for six. Dags away, plays his up and over mid wicket. And back to back boundaries, four runs. 82 for six. Well, head out of get out time. It seems. This one up behind point. Chase going on there, it won't get to the boundary. And Bardwaj, good running from Bardwaj, make it two. Ends the over, 84 for six. Two runs coming off that one. Twelve off the over. Bardwaj on to 18, Jay Patel faced the six deliveries without scoring so far. And Jones has six overs, one maiden, three for 44. As Middleton to bowl from the car park end. Australia 205 for seven down in Christchurch, Otatati. Middleton bowling to Patel, and Patel comes forward, then goes back into the crease. Next ball from Middleton, down the wicket, plays this straight to mid off. And the seventh wicket falls. Patel trying to get off the mark. I mean, that's up down to mid off. Didn't have too much trouble moving there. And it's 84 for 7.
new batter at the crease, Stubborn Barty. Doing this, uh, doing to Eden Roskill Wolves this season from uh, Papa Toy Toy. Can hold a bat as well. We on strike changed the rules a couple of years ago that um, even if batters do cross with the ball in the air, um, the new batter is on strike. And this, of course, was the last ball of the over. This one just played back to the bowler. Backs away and plays us down to point. No run though. Quicker ball from Middleton, bit of an effort one. Bowling from the car park end, where he's bowled his previous three overs. A couple of changes going into the field. This is our man's going to go under the helmet. Middleton just asking back with a deep square to come around, just waiting to see where he'll slot into the field, he's going to go to mid-on, first time Middle Middleton's had a mid-on in place actually, it's a silly mid-off, slip, the two slips, point cover, extra cover, as this one's played down to mid-off. It's the over. Only four for seven. Middleton. Four overs, two for a uh, four for two. New over from Jones, outside edge, down through third man, gully wasn't quite wide enough for gully, they pick up one. Streaky, but uh, you're struggling like this, every run counts. Next ball from Jones, 200 plus caps for Takapuna Premiers. And he has a go at this one, feel for caught behind but nothing moved from the umpire.
it's just played at the crease that uh, nothing connected on it. Hello, dog. There's this dog hanging around a bit here. Come to say hello. Hello. In case he misses it, this one ends the over. 85 for 7. Edward Middleton from the car park end. Dolling to Patel. Uh, Bowling to Budweiss. Budweiss, sorry, goes after this one and misses out. It's 19 off 13 deliveries. Two fours and a six. Second ball, and this one's just played at the crease down to cover. Mind you, you can watch these games back. You can even do that while the live stream's going on. You can start it from certain points. I apologise, the start of this match was missed. Mental health at the moment, just not 100%, unfortunately. Uh, part of the reason why I do live stream is to try and look after my mental health. Been wanting to be a commentator since I was about seven years old. This one swept up and over mid wicket and all the way, six runs. Budwaj picking up his second six of the match. Moves on to 91 now. One for seven. Midwicket dropping back this time to the boundary. There's a short fine leg in place in mid on. In regulation places, open out singles if Bardwaj wants it. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries again. But uh, this time just watches it carefully. Dumb and buddy, none off nine at the other end. So the appeal for every W, but might have just been a bit of height. And uh, that ball just moving in from... Moving into Bardwash. 91 for 7. Matt Jones continuing from the netball centre end. Two slips, wide gully, point cover in the mid-off on the offside. 
Barty goes after it in half an appeal for RBW. Hardwire is going to come down just to have a quick chat. Just keep the head down. I'll go from the other end. You just play your normal style. Barty, though, he can go after the ball. Good work up down on the boundary. It's this one. Bit of dust coming up as he hits the uh, bat into the ground and plays this back to Jones. Some play down to Gully, but uh, on the bounce. Good to have your company wherever you are, folks. Bevan Jenkins and the Bevs Broadcasting. You're a scorer, you're a live streamer, you're a commentator, you're everything you want to be, other than player. As is an appeal for RBW. Long one as well. Second of the over. But Matt Jones just finding a little bit of purchase out of the pitch there. This one drives but straight to a sh short extra cover. Big thanks to the umpires have given up, given up their Saturday to stand out in the middle. It's uh, not an easy job. But having to be switched on for most of, the, most of the innings, as you do. And comes forward and then goes back into it, does Barty. Middleton to bowl his next over from the car park end again. Sidewise just as a bit of gardening. A reminder there'll be highlights and photos posted to Bev's broadcasting official Facebook page. There's a uh, link in the description of this video for that. Won't take you directly there. Is Dardwaj down the wicket. Plays this to the left of mid-off. And I think there might have been a hand to it, but it's four nonetheless. Only five for seven. Even Roscoe Pro Water Blasting having won the toss and electing to back. Happy to say that the highlights um, are up to date. And we included Eden Roskill's game against um, North Shore last week. Or the last two weeks. This one's up and over cover this time. And four more. Bardwaj playing to his strengths and going after the bowling. Mr. 33 off 20. 99 for 7. Middleton two balls into his sixth over. Four for 16. Searching for that five wicket bag. Badwaj cuts this one. Just a point though.
Big thanks to Takapuna District Cricket Club for, for hosting me today and tomorrow. Just a reminder that uh, it's a two-day match across today and tomorrow, not uh, two Saturdays. This is the penultimate round of Hendy Howarth two-day competition in for 23-24 season. Next week, Takapuna at home against Suburbs New Lynn while Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting at home at Keith Hay Park against Parnell. Comes down the wicket, plays this through extra cover, and I'll just settle for the one. That's the 100 coming up for Eden Roskill. 100 for 7 now. for a defensive shot this time. Ends the over. 100 for 7. And Edward Middleton still searching for his 5 wicket bag. The four bowlers being used so far. So it's a single two point, backward point having to go around, can't prevent it. 101. <laughs> As this one's edged and dropped. Flying chance at second slip to his right. Just burst through the hands. And Bolden fielded pretty well, Takapuna. His body goes to point this time. Barty just plays this to cover. I'll update the Ford Trophy going on at the moment. As this is played down to mid off, down to long off. Pick up one. At lunch on day two, down in Kitty Kitty Row, Hamilton. Northern Districts taking on uh, Auckland Aces. Northern Knights having batted first yesterday. A six wicket bag for one of the Auckland bowlers, just pulling him to up the scorecard. Uh, Dunroy Ferns actually with the six wicket bag. Six for 62. And at lunch, uh, Auckland Aces trailing by 150 runs and 95 for 8. Middleton again from the car park end and edge to first slip. 
And the ninth wicket, uh, the eighth wicket falls. It's 102 for eight. Shia Safi is a new batter at the crease, number 10. And this one just played down to, back to Middleton. Who actually has his five wicket bag now. He has um, five for 17. That wicket of uh, Dari. Played down to fine leg. And this one, she, she gets us up and over square leg. We'll pick up two. Prod from Safi. successful run for Middleton. It's 102 for 8. I'll go with 104 because I didn't add those two runs on. Matt Jones bowling again from the netball centre end. Bardvice comes down the wicket and beats short cover. Difficult to fielding position when you're fielding on the uh, artificial pitch like that. Seen a few interesting balls pop off the um, edge of the artificial at. Um, Tisei Park is that it's taken at first slip and Dardwaj's beginnings comes to an end it's 106 for 9 
caught Neil off the bowling of Jones. 37 of 27, four fours and two sixes. Second highest score of the innings with Vandenberg scoring 38. Is Yaya Zev the number 11. Walks to the crease. Good news over in, uh, down in Christchurch. Most love a night. It's been dismissed. Selby has a wicket. Australia have a lead of 50, 2 2 1 for 8. Yeah, yeah, Zeb, a um, Auckland Aces contracted player, but he is coming back from injury. First ball back to Jones. He's four for Even Zeb at the moment with pace. Last ball of Jones is over. Zeb goes after it. He gets nothing on it. Ends the over. 106 for 9. Middleton with his missed spin from the car park end. to share Safi on two. Australia at, at lunch, leading by 59. 2-2-1 two, two, for eight. Joseph Parker with a points victory, having been knocked out, um, been knocked to the canvas twice. And, uh, and his opponent, Zili Zang. Can't say if you've ever heard of that. Boxer, not that I tend to follow boxing too far, but questions around um, Joseph Parker and how much more he's got, former heavyweight champion. I'm talking about former heavy former heavyweight champions, uh, Mike Tyson at the age of 57. This is run off the face down to backward point, announcing a. Um, fight to take place uh, live on Netflix of all uh, streaming platforms. It's not a we not too sure whether it's a professional fight or whether it's an exhibition fight, but uh, times will be told. Another chapter in the uh, interesting in interesting career of Mike Tyson as this is played to point. Big thanks to Eden Roskill for sponsors. Um, Barfoot and Thompson, Mount Roskill, Pro Water Blasting, Speedy Signs and Reliance Forex. Well, with Takapuna, it's taken me um, a couple of hours to realise that Takapuna sponsors is right in front of me here.
Kookaburra, Cricket Express, Barfoot and Thompson as well, and Broderick. Clubs and organisations these days just can't do without them. The Safi Waits. Comes forward, but just uh, dead bats us into the ground. Lunch uh, scheduled for 20 past 1 local time, which is in about 15 minutes. Due to the fact that there's a 10 minute change around uh, for change of innings. Um, could be interesting to see whether we get an early lunch or not. Remains to be seen, as they say. Jones bowling to Yaya Zeb. Yet to score, it plays this down to mid on. It's faced six balls now. Goes to the sweep, misses out. It's the old broom out. Matt Jones fall for 49, halfway through his 11th. And Zeb, a bit of an exaggerated leave, but uh, leave nonetheless. There'll be a 40 minute lunch break. As this one's appeal for RBW. A very um, long appeal. I'll pick up two. Some good running. And no appeal, no signal from the umpire, so it's runs. Good reason as any not to give it out, RBW. That's 108 for nine. Some good running. You would have heard the Eden Ross School Pro Water Blasting Wolves team in the background acknowledging Yaya Zeb had to get on the skates. To get back for the second. And Zeb just comes forward and plays this back to the bowler. It's the over 108 for 9. And I would say if a wicket was going to fall here, it would be lunch. 2 hours 20 session. Uh, 2 hours 20 for the first session. 2 hours 10 for the second. And a straight 2 hours for the third. Scheduled to finish at 6.30. This evening on day 1, round 6 of the Headley Howarth competition. An ultimate round between uh, uh, for the 2023-24 season. As Middleton starts again. Bowling to Shea Safini. Just going to push this down the ground and run with the shot. Good single. Just 109 for 9. Zeb waiting, gets the broom out and plays over the top of it. And 
bags into the crease and just dead bats just to cover. Down the wicket and plays us behind square. It could be a retrieval mission in the first boundary in a while. Four runs. And 13 for nine. Yeah, yeah, Zeb showing some positivity at the crease. Ends the over. 117 for nine. Middleton, nine overs, three maidens for five for 28. One's actually just really picked up at the moment. Uh, Bottom left, top right. And Safi just comes forward and defends. Salim it off and play two slips and a short third man as this one's driven to short short cover. It's backward point and mid off in place as this one's just played to short cover again. Currently 117 for nine. Good afternoon to you, VJ. Hope you're well. I have been um, actually wondering whether you are tuning in or not because you haven't messaged me or messaged me recently. It's all right, I don't take that sort of thing personal, mate. The uh, head groundsman at Ken Monda Park, suburbs Newland, the uh, club that Takapuna play in round seven of the Headley Hour two-day competition next Saturday. Next ball from Jones, quicker one. And this one played to short third man, ends the over. 117 for nine. Five minutes to go before lunch. Scheduled lunch break. So 
made neither as well. He just keeps out a good one, gets a lot of support again from his teammates behind us. It's 10 off 16 deliveries so far. Gets the broom out, sweeps this. There is protection at mid wicket, so it'll just be one. This is 11, 118 for nine. Middleton looking for a sixth wicket of the innings. Backs into the crease. And has been taken. The tenth wicket falls and Eden Roskill all out for 118. And there'll be lunch as well. There's some great from Edward Milton. He has six. We'll be back in about 40 minutes at uh, just before 1 at uh, 2 pm. What? Looking to chase down Eden Roscoe's first inning score of 118.
All right, I do apologise, folks. We are back after lunch. Takapuna, six without loss. Gerard, uh, that was a good conversation we're having to ourselves, wasn't it? Was. Um, I think the listeners and the viewers uh, missed out on some gripping uh, conversation. We'll probably try and... Uh... Oh, oh, bold! Oh! Off stump, out of the ground! We'll pick back at least. And Eden Roskill, they have a wicket. It's six for one. And that is why we... Well, that's a, that's the start Eden Roscoe wanted. And yeah, yeah, he pushes Brighouse's back off stump out and back. Yeah, not the debut he would have uh, dreamt about to be. On Sunday at the crease. Decent uh, player for Takapuna. Kept, uh, had the gloves in hand earlier today. Super Rugby Pacific and Super Rugby Opiki taking place today. A couple of games have just kicked off. This one's played to point. Super Rugby O Picky, the uh, women's tournament, or women's competition, New Zealand women's competition, I should say. Blues taking on Chiefs Manawa at the moment, and uh, the Fiji and Drua taking on. I think the Crusaders, if I read that right. Yes, they are. That game's a bit of a rematch uh, going on. Gerard, uh, which one is that be? Fiji and Drawer and um, Crusaders. Oh, that yeah. one being at Lautuka as well. And uh, last year, it was about this time of the year too. Um, the uh, Fiji and Drawer upsetting the Crusaders. Uh, that must have been a, a big blow. Unfortunately, if it's not a World Cup where the Springboks are involved, I'm not much into rugby these days. I was going to say you were saying that bit, bit of that last week, weren't you? Yeah. Um, if I switch on the telly and the Six Nations, I might watch a little bit, but not even that. Was it exciting? A... Except again, another South African uh, shining a couple of weeks ago for Scotland. Yeah, Dwayne. the uh, winger. Dwayne, I think it's Dwayne. But the other one. No, it wasn't Van Van M- Mulen. It was, it was definitely a South African name. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He scored the. It was Van something run. off huh? the top of my head? First ball from Barty at the netball end as a dot. The only thing that matters is the South African uh, doing his home country proud. Uh, so how does this competition work? Um, which competition, this sorry? New Pacific... Uh, oh, the Super S- Rugby Pacific? So it's Australia still? Yeah, so you got... Um, hang on a moment, I'm just trying to think here for a second. Distracted by the man in the car. Yeah. I'm not sure what he's Just doing. played to point. Sounds like he's sleeping, lying down. <laughs> uh, you got five New Zealand teams, five Australian teams, plus Fiji and Drua and Minus Pacifica. Okay. So Japan, and they also withdrew from the Super Rugby then, I guess? A couple of yes, years ago? yeah. There was not a lot of um, input from the Japanese rugby board, really. For the Sunwolves, as this one's played to cover, Mahia Raniga and Aman Badwaj. Yeah, the travelling was always going to be time differences. 
especially with Argentina. Well, to... yep, yeah, no, that's what, what I was just about to get to is the um, yeah. is Jaguars. Tri Nations, or quadruple nations. Or... The Four Nations? Uh, that, uh, yeah. That's uh, oh, the rugby game. championships, sorry. So the rugby champion championship still happening with New Zealand, South Africa, Australia, and Argentina. Because last year was cut short, obviously due to the World Cup. Yeah. Cup of game. Was invited to go watch the game at uh, Mount Smart. Next ball from Barty, and this one driven down the ground. We'll pick up one. Fortunately, did not take up the invitation when South Africa was routed by the All Blacks. Yep, don't mind those results. Problem is, it's only the one at the end of the season that counted, right? It is. Um, I think it was a brilliant strategy by the great tac tacticianist Rusty Erasmus to give the All Blacks the win. And, uh, Interesting bloke, that Rusty Erasmus. Yeah, no, he's a really, uh, polarising figure. Yes. Even back home. Um, most people remember the joy when he sat on roofs with lights and cards giving instruction. <laughs> Obviously not a man with a... Party from the netball centre end. And this one driven down the ground. And Madon does some good fielding down there. Yeah, well, he's had a few run-ins with referees, hasn't he? Um, as well, because he's spoken his, um, his thoughts without a uh, filter. Probably one of the toughest jobs these days, being a rugby referee. Few people oh, I think it, their boots and whistles. I think just in general, but um, it just does get worse and it does get harder for them. I used to refer I've refereed for fifteen years. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's umpiring, refereeing. Um, sad news, obviously, last week of the South African umpire Sean George dying, um, and then Marie Erasmus this week announcing his retirement. Two greats. NZ over five without loss. I was. I was trying to scratch my head in the lunch break and go, there's more stuff I've come across this week that I need to mention. And as soon as you said about the South African umpire, I was like, hang on, Maria Erasmus has announced his retirement, retirement yes. at the end of this current test in um, Christchurch. Served the game well. First as a player for, I think, Boerland. Oh, okay, so he played time. first class then. He did. He, yep. Apparently, um, with no disrespect to umpire... Maria Erasmus, but he played as a steamer. Oh, Obviously, fair enough. <laughs> underwent some changes. Ch <laughs> body <something>. transformations. <laughs> Would have thought more of maybe a spinner. Hard hitting middle order batsman, but uh, no, he's. Was able to continue from the car park end here at Oniwa Domain. In this one, just play the crease. It's definitely looking a bit more sharper than uh, last week when he made his. Return after the Return injury. after injury, yep. No, still don't think full full hundred percent, so that's good. Not from what I've seen him do in previous years. Uh, South Africa all out for two fifty six, a lead of ninety four in the first innings down in Christchurch. Australia would that be or not South Africa? Be? South Africa. I did say South Africa, didn't I? Same thing. Some people, yeah, think we're the same, but no. There's oh, oh, some great keeping down leg from Neil Patel. Very oh. decent with gloves in hand. Yeah, he's, he's good down leg. Very good. The one thing I quite have always enjoyed about Maria Erasmus is that, you know, he's an umpire, but he's not an umpire that's dominated the game. No, he's very much the, in the back. Qu and I think quite the quiet and... Um, Always very consistent, I've found. As this one, why is he caught behind? That was a good bouncer. Uh, yeah, yeah no, good you, bouncer though. That's what you want. You don't want the umpires to dominate the headlines. But I think the players respected him. He always got along well with him. Had a chuckle or two. Maybe something funny to say. Oh, he certainly seemed a character, but not a overbearing character. No, definitely. Not. Yeah. So I mean, just one of a few. Obviously, uh, there was a couple of. For him that set the tone. Zeb running in. Next ball from Zeb and just left alone. Good couple of overs from Zeb, keeping that uh, just outside off, top of off. Well, nothing beats um, 
Ebola's image as a uh, off stumping pig back like it was, wasn't it? Exactly. Uh, it's a good clip online of uh, Jahot. Harajot. Harajot. Apologies. I was just trying to think where you're going uh, for that. Yeah. Um, one of his wickets last week for the Aces. This one driven aerial and got a beat point. Might have got a hand on it or to prevent the four, but they'll come back for a quick two and appeal for a run out. And I'd say in by the spirit of all margins, as the great Ian Smith would say. Yes, uh, lucky for the batsman that um, square leg camera not working at the moment. Couldn't go up for a third umpire because that was close. Well, I'm actually going to, well at this stage I'm going to Rotorua again on Friday for guys of Premier League. And um, I'm actually quite tempted to put in this, put in an extra camera there. I've seen a couple. And just of... see. I was actually talking earlier to um, Rhys Henderson, who's part of the Takapuna Club here. There's ducks underneath this one from Zeb. Ends the second one, second over. Banning and Carl, seven. Sunday, not out on. Without scoring yet, and Jah uh, Zeb, sorry, one for four after three. And uh, you know he was saying about uh, Westlake boys and that that um, have their live streaming as well and and yes, stuff. They've got two cameras. Yep. Um, I think obviously set up by the parents. So being part of the school system not so long ago, um, they've got quite a comprehensive system for. Home setup, two cameras, two ends. Um, First ball from Barty, played down the ground and diving effort prevents a single. Stump mic that just caused some problems for some players. Yeah, I don't think I'd go that far as having a stump mic, um, unless you were doing it week in, week out with the same sort of teams and that. No, it's, that's, the, that's the one sad thing about the, it's only Westlake at this stage, it's got the equipment and the camera. Um, always good for parents who are busy on a weekend, can't make it to the game. Well that's, that's, that's part of the reason why I started live streaming is that, um, you know, scores only tell you part of the story, doesn't it? Second ball of Daddy's third over, he's played too much to it. Mid on. That sort of thing requires money and uh, the know how on how to do that. I, as I always say, I live stream to commentate, whereas a lot of people just live stream. Most of those, yeah, there's no commentary. I know they do pitch commentary in the beginning and maybe half time, but it's always good to hear someone's opinion on the game, what's happening. Maybe busy in the kitchen and can't watch the television 100% of the time, it's good to get that moment that you need to look up oh, well, some action. One of the moments I've had this season is um, talking to Sky Sport commentator um, Tony Johnson, at, um, who actually, um, whose daughter plays for Takapuna. Okay. Now that I think about that. Um, And he goes, it's the one thing New Zealand cricket lack um, with the domestic live streams. There's just no commentary. It is. Um, and once the ball leaves the screen, you've got no idea what happened, you know, whether it's been dropped, caught, an amazing catch, or straight to him. Exactly. I mean, I think it uh, was the county system that started the live streaming. It's this one, driven down the ground. And got to beat mid off. And I'll pick up two. Oh, thanks, Viv. Now that you're offering, I'm going to take a sour yeah, word. Go for it, mate. Took him a while before he could trust me to offer me two worms. But, uh, well, you criticised whether I'd get back in time after lunch from the dairy, hobbling like I am. As I said to you, it was, um, it was that you know, threat that I might miss out on lunch that made me get, get there a little bit further, you know, quicker. That uh, surprised me, Dave. I did lay down a challenge and uh, we I'll accepted you it up. and uh, <laughs> completed it. So well done. Now reaping the rewards of the 
nothing like like some good uh, good worms. It's eleven for one after four overs. I actually like started live streaming uh, the Hamilton Premier stuff back in 2018-19. Okay. Um, I do know Dale Budge, um, who is half of the County's Monaco Sports Hub. That also live stream um, club yeah. rugby down there, and have done the odd cricket game, cricket final. Yeah, I think in terms of the counties, it was just in terms of professional sport. Of course, initially counties went streamed, televised. And said for, and from the car park in, but he's uh, I think he might have crossed his left and right foot over. And I do that all the time, babe. All the time, stumbling across. I, I don't. I, I never have a problem crossing my left and right feet over. Do you know why? It's got two left feet. <laughs> that causes other problems. <laughs> We've got 99 problems, but that ain't one of them. This is driven down to point. Yeah, and it, it's, it's funny. Um, you know, Takapuna, other than the odd pluck person didn't actually know that Eden Roskill games have been live streamed um, and I, th I think it's a very powerful tool it is I mean if I was a selector one can use this as an opportunity to, to track players um, performances because as you say the scorecard doesn't always tell the tell the full story, full story so. the next ball from Zeb Benz is back into this one plays it to cover Definitely uh, picking up pace, uh, but still again, maybe 80%. That's definitely burning good lines, good links. You know, I met Zeb a few seasons ago actually, he was playing last man stands for the Ningulese at Cornwall Park. I was pretty impressed by him then, and uh, not surprised that he has a contract these days with Auckland. Vandenberg going under the helmet. Yeah, I saw he had the pads on as they went out this, this afternoon after lunch. As he goes after wow. this one. If he connected, that ball was gone. Onto the ninth of Takapuna. Across the road, but unfortunately. I see Stephen Seagulls come back. Is that his it's name? Did we name him? Stephen Seagull? Uh, There's uh, players that... Uh, is a backward, deep backward square and fine leg and play on the leg side. No one out on the off side. And ducks underneath this one and Patel sprawling save down leg side. Wide. Called wide. That's Would have been harsh. for height. Can I throw your bottle for you away? Oh, if you want to do that, that would be great, mate. Just, my next, my next hope is to make space on the chair. Yeah. If it's not going to happen, then standing. You could almost have my chair, and I'd stand up at the moment. This hops onto this one, and Vanderberg does the fielding. This one, three point, and will be four runs. Sixteen for one, nearing the end of the next over.
mind you can watch these games back often as you like. Make sure you watch these games back uh, during the live stream as Zeb's next ball. And this one played to point. The photos and highlights posted to Bev's broadcasting official in coming days as that ends the over. 16 for 1, Zeb 1 for 9 in his 4 overs. Van Ingen, Ingen Carl 11 and Sunday, Sunday 2. Change for Eden Roskill at the netball centre end. Aman Bardwash. I think she had a bit of a um, jibe at him today. Aman, I think. No, it's not Jack. No. Who is it? Is it Aman? Sorry, it's Jay Patel that's bowling from the. Jay Patel? Yeah, no, he's got it. Sorry folks, just helping out the scorers there. We're a little bit closer. The amusing thing is he normally bowls... Uh, Pace! <laughs> this one through cover! And is going to reach the boundary for more. Yeah, well that's what tripped me up. I was thinking that's not Jay, because Jay bowls Pace. Like she even said that this morning. Yeah, that's been sometimes when you try and... Um... Experiment. This one's played down to point where Budwaj does do the fielding. <laughs> I had a bit of a laugh with him um, at the start of today's play, Gerard. So, stay to him. I go, I've now found out how you can make the uh, premier side for Eden Roskill. It's the next ball from Patel. Just played to short cover. Because he got a pair for the reserves last week in the last game. Did a lot better today with the bat. He got 37. Yeah. <laughs> he took the comment as it was intended. Two slips in place. And reaches out towards this one. Plays it to Raniga coming in off the boundary. One more of the total. 21 for one. Big thanks to sponsors for Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting. Reliance Forex. Speedy Signs and Barfoot and Thompson, Mount Roskill. Gerard, do you know who the Takapuna sponsors are? Uh, okay. No, you're cheating, aren't you? You're going to look over there. <laughs> it's a good Green ball here to finish the over. Was it? Yes, it is. It's 21 for 1. Yeah, they've got a, it. It took, took actually me half the day to realise that, uh, you know, half the first innings to realise that's what that sign is. <laughs> Cook about it. Barfridge and Thompson, but not the. Uh, yep, different buff, but different offices. And Broderick. But also a big thanks to um, Takapuna for hosting us, Amita and Susie.
Z from the car park end. And just tops into this one. Mid on having to come in. Can't prevent the single. 22 for one. Well, one brings two, as the old adage goes. Deep backward square and fine leg on the boundary. Played behind point, down through third man, and four runs. Sorry folks, I'll let that one run right through rather than just chop it off. Big thanks to my partner who does those um, graphics for me. Unlike you too, Gerard, I've found what I'm looking for. Been looking for my sunscreen. That's a good one, dude. Very good. Well, I do have the odd ones. <laughs> it is a bit of a. It's your life in danger going to retrieve the ball there. Good run. Yeah, I think that one. I know. Looks as though Z does it. have it. No, it. Point going back on the boundary. As this one's played down the ground to the left of mid off, and I'll come back for two. 28 for one. Fanning and Carl on 15. Sundi on eight. Ball from Zeb and tries to pull this one round and plays it down to short third man instead. Good to see uh, women's cricket happening behind us <coughs> here at Oniwa Domain. Home side uh, Takapuna taking on Watakari. This one guided behind two third man. They could point coming round and they take a single. Maybe just bowling a bit short. Uh, we can maybe just drag it a foot fuller. Even half a foot, I think. It's just giving the batsman a bit of time to go into that back foot and steer the ball. So um, started off with good lengths, but just slowly but surely pulling them back. So. I think that's um, it's a nod to his injury though, isn't it? It's just yeah, no, of course yeah. he's been bowling yeah. with fifth or six over there, just again. And I was, I was going to call it fitness, but I think it's match fitness really. Yeah. There's no, a lean tall figure at the end of the over. It's 29 for one after nine overs after Eden Roskill being bowled out at lunch for 118.
Patel from the netball centre end, and this will be through Malong off. There's a retrieval mission for mid off with four runs. Just back them to the crease and plays it to point. Vanning and Carl. 22 off 28, four boundaries to his name. There's an appeal for stumping. And a quick shake of the head. Neil Patel, quick behind the stumps. He's generally quite quick to get those bales off. Take up umpiring for, but for one reason really. Having to fix the stumps after a keeper's gone and destroyed them. Sometimes someone you just feel it's unnecessary. Unnecessary. That that wasn't. It was a genuine appeal. Backs away does Van Ingen Carl and they'll take a single to point. It doesn't seem to have that bite it had in the first innings. Uh, but this morning was overcast and the wind was hardly there is a wind. This morning it was. It was probably this for the whole game, the whole innings, wasn't it? It was all that first session. As Patel rips the next one in and this one's up and over mid on. And all the way, six runs. The over forty one for one. I think the uh, Takapuna coach is giving a bit of encouragement out there. <laughs> yeah, four wickets taken at um, that netball centre end, six at the um, car park end. I think uh, Sloan decides bringing on his former captain, Said Mujtaba. Said Mujtaba. Is that my hat that it just... Is. Yeah, I'm contemplating whether I'm going to... Is this his cut? Down to point. Could you grab it for me, please, Gerard? That, 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 that does involve getting up! <laughs> okay, so I don't actually know where it landed, so... Definitely not young anymore. Please. Thank you. Neither am I, mate. Just backs into the crease and dead bats us back to Mujtaba. Former Eden Rascal coach, Azar oh, Abbas, said... Oh, sorry, yep. But I've just wasted a bean there. You only get a few beans in life and there's one gone. 18 good starts in the, and that was start number 19 as this one through cover. And there's a boundary, four runs. Next ball from Mojtaba and that's just played down to short fine leg. Looks like um, a different pitch in these two innings, um, Gerard. 
changed very quickly the condition it had almost three hours of play as this one's driven through cover and Vandenberg having to retrieve that one it's four and brings up the fifth uh, no it doesn't it's 49 for one only positive for Eden Roscoe is at this stage is they were about 44 before they lost their first wicket only problem is they lost a couple in succession this one's just played to mid wicket a mini collapse they will still have hope at this stage. I think one thing that they're struggling with is that is the end of the over. Is, is, I don't think there's two balls the same, put in that same place. Yeah, no, it's just been six different balls. Right? And a couple of those have been boundary balls. Which is so no pressure at this stage on the batsman. Van Vanning and Carl on 29 and Cindy on 17. Then I feel it's my obligation to mention some other cricket news which might not be... Oh uh, please do. In the Auckland Boys Premier ODI Division. Um, Mount Albert Grammar School which currently... Top oh the 1A. Team. Yep. Uh, no this is Premier. So oh sorry no they've got rid of the 1A no, didn't they? No yeah. 1A below it so... Yeah, the premier. premier. When I was in Auckland, it was one A was the top. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, now it's one A is second. So Max, who is the are they reigning? No, they lost against I think to Westlake last year. But they've been at the top for the last three years, unbeaten so far. Plays McLean College, who this year came up from one A. Yes, they defeated Sacred Heart, my old old Ramada, in the promotion relegation. And so, well, actually not. They um, won the competition last year. Then. Oh, did they? Sorry. Uh, it was Rosmini. Yes. Who beat Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Yeah. Anyway, so at this stage, Max, who has looked unbeaten. First ball, the new over from Badwaj. It's into the attack. It's up over the long arm. It's four runs. You're yeah, talking about Mags, Mags? Mags been undefeated so far this year. Looked unstoppable. Bowled out for 111. Oh, yes, the Nelson. Overs. Next ball from Badwaj. As this one's played to shorten it on. McLean is currently on 87 for 4 after 25. So, uh, oh, nice still start. early days. Anything can happen, but at this stage it might look like a very big upset. Budweiser the wrist spinner right arm over and just played a little bit of movement there suggested from the batter. This one cut away and Raniga who's out on that point boundary does the fielding. 54 for one now. Vanning and Carl on 33. So yeah, I think it's the third time I've live streamed here at Oniwa Domain. First time I've done Kruger. Rugby's probably a good five minute walk from here. So what's told? Behind us. Well, that that building. Big, big crowd. Is up on one, down on one knee. And it's all the way, six runs. Give me ball, give me six.
Ends the over with a couple of dots. 60 for one. Mujtaba from the car park end. New Zealand have lost a wicket. Five for one with Will Young being dismissed off Stark's bowling. Bit of a slow one there from Mujtaba. Worked off the face of the bat. I'll pick up one more. Interesting couple of weeks for um, New Zealand broadcasting. Been across that, uh, Gerard? I have not, but no? have been, are you talking about TVNZ? Uh, TVNZ, News Hub, Sky Sport. This, this one's down to third man. I'll pick up two more. Uh, um, so it looks as though the TV3, well, Warner Brothers, sorry, who own TV3 and affiliates, um, are needing to. Get, get, find some more money. Um, they're going to have to drop their news hub program. There's another one. This is down to three once more. Bardwaj giving chase. It's another two to the total. It's easy runs here for Takapuna District. 65 for one. Yeah, so that was a couple of weeks ago that they announced that news hub isn't afford affordable anymore. Um, and then this week. TVNZ announcing they're having to let go, they're going to have to axe uh, Fair Go in the Sunday programs. That one I, I um, heard about the Fair Go, that's quite a big disappointment. It's been over 50, ne nearly 50 years, that program. Wow. Fighting for, human, uh, for New Zealand commercial, you, you, you know, um, rights and all that. Too. Oh it is, um, good old Kevin Milne who used to do it. He's going to pitch a single down to Chia Safi at mid on. Doesn't get to pick it up cleanly. They get the single. Um, but also Sky Sport um, dropping uh, grassroots rugby. And uh, uh, from the um, program this year as well. And that means, um, you know, club rugby's not going to be shown once a week by Sky. Oh, that's a big blow. It's a huge blow for grassroots rugby. Yeah, I would think you would have to have a social obligation continue show, especially in a country like New Zealand? Well, they're going to still show the, um, show one game of Heartland Rugby, which is your Thames Valley, your King Countries and that, uh, taking on each other live per week, per, okay. per the contractual obligations. Um, but they won't be filming other matches, you know, and uploading them every week. Um, hopefully still provinces will live stream. Um, I believe... Thames Valley Rugby will still be live streaming their home Heartland matches through uh, Na Iwi FM, the local radio station. It's Bard Raja's first balls played back to him. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and you know, the other thing that um, Grassroots, Sky Sport Grassroots used to do was you know, interview local people, like, like the characters yeah. that made up clubs, this was one, play down to mid wicket on the boundary and they'll pick up one more to the total and um, you know I've been asking friends what they thought, they go oh it's quite a big surprise and um, I mean I'm not really involved in that sort of level of broadcast but to me it's actually taken a long time to, to get to this point um, it is, but I think it's sadly the there's, there's an appeal for court behind if it was a one day, you'd be trying to put the umpire off for a wide. Um, I've seen this coming for a while, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, across the broad, streaming services, unfortunately, is taking away yeah. viewership. 
as this one's down to mid off. And it dived over the top of it. It's four runs. Sums up uh, the day Eden Roskill are having at the moment. Well, I don't know whether you heard, but 57-year-old um, will be 58 in July when he uh, fights his next fight. Mike Tyson is getting back in the ring. Oh, the YouTuber um, live on live on Netflix. This played the short extra cover. Well, the other thing is, is he's a missing a swipe and a plot a miss. Sorry. NZ over. Tidy one from Bud Budweiser, just the four off it, compared to the other overs that have been conceded. 71 for one. Um, it was the last fight that Tyson fought was in 2020, but it was only an exhibition match, not a official. Also, uh... Well, what I what I read last night, I only read quickly, is, is that they weren't too sure whether it was going to be a proper professional fight or whether it would be an exhibition. The way you're making it sound, though, tells me it is just going to be an exhibition. It is an exhibition. So I, I saw some programs on this. Muchtima from the car park end, and this one just played off the pads. Backward square coming in off the boundary. Uh, apparently in America, uh, to call it a fight, is, there's some legal implications. Yeah. Which means the fight needs to be sanctioned, approved by whichever... Governing, yeah. Governing body. Fighting apparently is... The only sport in America which is it's played to cover by the American government. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know. And well, so that doesn't surprise me because that was a lot of the hassle that um, the great Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, had um, back in his days, yeah. and that's the reason why we had Rumble in the Jungle, the Thriller in Manila, because he couldn't fight in the U.S. because of the gov U.S. government. Is this is anyway, so a bit quicker from Mujtaba, but played off his pads and Barty coming in from mid wicket. Does the fielding? One more to the total. Oh, I was amazed you sat in the sun that long, actually. Safi going back to where the ring would normally be at mid on. As this one's guided behind square on the offside. Bardwaj giving chase. And it's another boundary. Four runs. 77 for one. Trailing by 41 now. NZ over as well. Benning and Carl on 40 and Sunday on 30. Bardwaj again from the netball centre end. You're at only one domain. As this one is big, it is long, and I think that's going to be all the way. Yes, it is. Six runs.
bit of a delay here as um, I think uh, Vanning and Carl was um, eyeing up the number nine you said earlier, Gerard. Of course you would know it as a number nine. You were saying this last bit, weren't you, your love of golf? Yes, no, he's right there. You can jump the fence. Well, you need to go past the driving range. And then you play I'm starting to question this. Vanning and Carl now on 46. New Zealand Black Caps 14 for 1. Latham and Williamson at the crease, trailing by 80 at the moment. Ball has found its way back to Bardwaj at the top of his mark. This one, oh, it's just missed. It's missed everything at the top of um, Patel's gloves there. It shows if he puts it in the right place that the ball needs to hit the wicket. That's the problem, it hasn't. Not consistently. Drives down the ground and all the way again, six more. And as 50 as well for Tristan Van Ning and Carl. Well deserved 50. That's the way he's batted today. That's 89 for one. And drinks here. Day one, session two. In reply of Eden Roskers 118, Takapuna 89 for one. Back in about a few minutes for resumption.
All right, so after drinks, you know, five minutes into session two on day one, Bardwaj from the Netball Centre and just close this to short mid off. Benning and Carl on strike brought up his 50 just before drinks. Better bowling here from Bardwaj. Black Caps 20 for 1. Still trailing Australia by 74 runs in the second innings. And as this is hit down to mid off, and they're going to punch a single. Good running there. They've shown that already this morning, this afternoon. for one at the end of the over. Just the one off after drinks. Shir Safi into the attack for the first time today from the car park end. Just does a bit of a run through. Um. All right, first ball from Safi. In this one, just run off the face down to point. No run. Vanning and Carl, 53. Quinsundi, on 34. We'll go back and have a look at the Plunkett Shield. Auckland Ace is taking on. Northern Districts, Northern Districts bowling Auckland Aces for first innings victory as um, Safi has a false start. Northern 6 for 1, leading by 95 runs in their second innings, Auckland being bowled out for 158. Hajat Jahol, Gerard, top scored. Top scored, well done, Abdul. In his second first class game. You want to guess what he scored? Go 32. Try double that. 65. No way. Well done. 65 off 99 deliveries he's got. Oh, the Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting player. Only fair thing about it is we could have used that 60 odd runs today from. And he's wicket-taking power this week and last week, to be fair. Yep. But, you know, when you've been, when, when you're given the offer of playing first-class cricket. Definitely deserves it. Definitely. I'm glad for him. Six, seven wickets, I think, last week. Yeah, seven across two innings. Oh, no, eight and in two innings. Was that a drop? 
Drop catch. Might, might have been, but just a little bit hard, quite hard in the follow through. I mean, days are difficult all the time, but uh, the chance. A true story here, Gerard. I have dropped many catches in many positions, including keeper. I've only ever dropped one as a bowler. How many chances did you get this one? Oh no, so I said plenty. I actually had a few captains go, you're right, you've never dropped a court bolt. Uh, very good over so far, I think. What's that? No run so far. No. A couple of balls. And this one exactly hops into the crease. Again. Pushing him back. Well, we saw in the first innings, this is what Takapuna did. They. You know, they shifted their line and with the line end length a little bit, but not a lot. And had um, both batters hopping around and y y you know thinking about what was coming the next ball. Which um, so far in the innings of Tuggapuna, that's what even Roskill have done, but not to a great line and length. Yeah. Finally, going around to third man. Build the dots and then connect them. Takes a step down the wicket and drops down to mid-off, but he does the fielding. One ball to come and Safi's over. I mean, luckily our last match will be back at home. Feels like ages. Yep, both both teams at home next week. Takapuna back out here taking on Suburbs New Lynn as Safi bowls and this will beat a diving backward point. And there's a dive down at third man, it's four. NZ over. It is 94 for one. Well, I didn't want to put the curse on um, Gerard. Oh, because I was going to say that um, it was going to be a maiden over. But it didn't work in my favour. Not at all. Well, just to, I think it is a low scoring day, um, except for a couple of big scores. Suburbs Newland bowled out for 139. Against? Against Parnell. And Parnell, and oh yes. Cornell against University, 129 for 7. So another. It's only East, East Bay, who is 214 for 5. It's not bad but stuff. They also had a, a very slow start. So. And on the reserve major two-day competition, um, Suburbs New Lynn being bowled out for 1-2-2 against Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting at Keith A Park in the first innings, just to add to those low scores. Bardwaj starts with the dot. Just backs into the crease then, plays it to cover. Ball from Budwash. This is played to mid wicket. Papudi and Joshi for the uh, in Roscoe Reserves picking up three wickets each. Three for 21 and three for 32, respectively. This one's driven just to the left of mid off, and it's a misfield. And they'll pick up two. It's much of a bowling now that I see that. And this one through extra cover. And 
doesn't quite get to the boundary. They'll pick it up too, though. Just that one back of the lane set, giving the batsman chance to rock back on the back. Balls seemingly not spinning. Not swinging, not seeming. Yeah, not chose that ball out of the box. Yeah, well, sometimes that's it, isn't it? It's 98 for one at the end of the over. Trailing by 20 now. Yeah, unfortunately at this level, I don't think they've got uh, 12 plus balls to select from. No, well, at 300 odd, no, at 300 odd dollars a pop, it's, um, yeah, to have a few spear balls. Does cost quite a bit. She's Safi continuing from the car park end. This one guided down to the face to short third man. Pick up one. Ninety nine for one. Have a look a bit to your right here, Gerard. We had um, tennis soccer being played earlier today. I think there's some um, patonk going on with cricket balls. Someone's played to the left of mid off. No run. What is it? Bowls. She's probably bowls, to be honest. Um, just, to the, just before the um, nets here. <laughs> A couple of uh, the Pirates two. players. Mm. Bowls is actually a sport I have live streamed and commentated before. Indoor bowls. So this one's driven Vandenberg out on the boundary. And brings up the 100 for Takapuna. 100 for 1. So I'm just going to... Uh, I just seem to be having a bit of a problem with my um, camera there, folks. Sorry. In the wind. Hopefully that'll fix it. Um, yeah, sadly one of the more disturbing uh, statistics about bowls. The high death rate from players. Well I'm surprised, um, you know, as this one's driven. Just a mid-wicket, Renega misses, misses out on the boundary, it's four. Good diving save, but unable to pull it in. Hundred and four for one. Safi, and this one's run off the face. Barty down at wide third man having to come round and restrict it to two. Just realised I did say that Takapuna next week taking on uh, Suburbs New London at home. Well, uh, I didn't mention Eden Roskill, they take on uh, Parnell. Final game of this season. Yep. Uh, just a reminder though, folks, this game is a Saturday Sunday match. This one currently, so we will be back here tomorrow for an 11 a.m. start. Safi bowls in again and plays this up and over mid wicket. It's six runs into the fire, into the fence. It's one, one, two for one. Into the over. Van Ingen and Carl on 70. Eight. eight fours and four sixes. Or well, Sunday, 39 or 41. Four, four fours and a boundary. A four fours and a six. 
Safi, two overs for 18. Bardwaj and, and this one and some great fielding at cover. A little misfield from Renega though as a single. And I'm just gonna have to play around with that camera a little bit for, sorry folks. One one three for one. Next ball from Mujtaba. And this one down to long on. Pick up one. Four off a first innings victory for Takapuna. Next ball and it's wide outside off. Might have, I think the umpire might have had a look at that. <laughs> Not a bad option at this stage. Play it out a bit wider. Just try something different. Half an appeal for RBW, but as the ball skirts off the pad down to Midwicket. Next ball from Mujtaba. Bowls this one cut behind square. And Chesafi does the fielding. A bit more positivity here being shown by the. Uh, Eden Ross could probably water blasting fielders now. Some cut away down the point and off through the legs of Sha Safi. And the pick up one. One six for one at the end of the over. Just be careful, Bev. Wouldn't know how, Gerard. Would not know how. I think it's just a good uh, move. Bring back in Zip. There's, now we've got the picture back. Do apologise for that, folks. Twenty overs gone in the innings. So they're scoring it uh, over five and a half and over. Not that I didn't believe you, uh, Gerard, but yes, you are right. Yaya Zeb uh, back into the attack from the car park in. One of the young kids out here taking some good catches from his father. Might have to reach for that one. Oh, he's taking a beautiful one as this one's hit down to cover in the actual game. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit distracted there. He's actually doing some great. Oh, I think I should learn some tips um, from that kid. Gerard, he's. Not too old, I saw him drop a dolly before, but it. No, he's um, doing a good effort down here. Next ball from Zeb. Played down to point in Vandenberg. 18 year old. That's the fielding. I think Vandenberg's the only player with a brim on. Everyone else is wearing caps by the look of it. Sun safety, always important. Uh, he does. In his face from time to time. As this one's pulled round in front of Square, three mid wicket. 
and Renega going around, and they'll pick up two. Nice me here. He's um, picked up a couple of good runouts this season, isn't he, Renega? Scores are tied for the first innings. 118 each. That wasn't the most convincing shot. I think it just bounced a bit higher than you. Next ball from Zeb. And this one's cut. Down to cover. No run. <sighs> That's good. Wherever you can, a dot ball doesn't hurt. They're batting at such a rate, dots are not going to create that much pressure, but it will help. Do I apologize? It's 117. Someday on strike. And it's had to pull this one round in front of him. He now scores the tide on first innings. You know, it's all about positivity, isn't it? Not dropping the head too far. It's understandable, difficult conditions, being bowled out early and then hoping that maybe you can extract some more gremlins out of the pitch and then gremlins have gone home. <laughs> Next ball from Zeb. Beats cover. And it's four. And it's first innings victory for Takapuna. One, two, two for one. Ends the over as well. Mojtaba continuing at the netball centre end. Five overs for 27. So this one's played down to backward point. I think the biggest thing here, Gerard, though, isn't it, is that the pitch has been... It's two different pitches out there. It does seem that... I mean, generally you're trying to, I guess, you want to make excuses, but there was definitely... I mean, give credit to the bowlers. Yep, as this one's up and over mid on. And all the way, six runs. It's 50 for Quinsundi. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they bowled very well this morning. They've also batted very well now. Takapuna. And this one. Through cover. Omega giving chase. And they'll pick up two more. But I think what's also important is what you've mentioned earlier. Zip at this stage, it seems, as if it's not quite a plan. And so you're putting it in the hands of the batsman to make a mistake which could happen but you know at which cost and at which point so try and have it some plan try bowling to that plan and hopefully it comes off but you can't just run through the overs hoping because that's not going to this one's played down to mid off one more to the total win. obviously the, the next step is to put on a big total and it seems like although they were batting at five trying to put the foot a bit more on the accelerator yeah well I mean they can Why lose not? they can afford to lose wickets as Van Ing and Carl goes down to long on for one one three two for one
next ball from Mujtaba. Cut, and Renika does the fielding. I mean, it just takes one of those smart moments, doesn't it? Like, and, and one little moment of brilliance, and then that can bring Eden Roskell back into the game. That's, plus, they're going to need a bit of luck. The problem is that... The rub of the green as such. Yeah, but both batsmen are set. So both look like good batsmen, so you need something very special. The new ball is about 40 overs away, yeah? 30 overs away? 60 overs away? Oh, I was going to say nearly 50, mate. Uh, so you got we've had, that. Um, we've had 22 overs, so 58. Say something in a few times. Uh, no, uh, it, yeah, we need some divine intervention. Is it cloud building, maybe? <laughs> yeah, and look, I mean, I'm not looking for excuses for our boys, but um, that overhead cover's gone. This morning was tough conditions. Yeah. It looked completely different. Um, but. It is. Vingen and Carl will get a single to point, just head to hop onto it and um, good running from Sunday. Comes back to who on the toss and elected to do what? Played a big role. Well, well I think it was a good toss to, to lose. Um, I said that early this morning, it would be a good toss to lose. And um, Takapuna apparently would have batted first as well had they won the toss. So... Hindsight's T it's 2020 for a reason. As Sunday reaches this one, just plays it to short mid off. Mid on, sorry. I mean, it looks completely overcast. At some point, I thought, geez, are we going to have a match? Well, I, I had a look at the forecast last night, and there was a chance of rain, but it was only 1%. <laughs> so well, I'm not surprised like it's turned out like this. <laughs> Sunday bringing up his 50 in the last over. And this one just edged deliberately down a third man. And four more to the total. One, three, seven for one. Yeah, I'm looking at the field and she's got a man deep on the square leg boundary. Sort of a spine leg. Mid wicket. Then you can't be bowling short on the off stump. You don't have a fielder then. Half my gazebo start to fly off as Zeb's in, again in bowls. Uh, Let's pick up one more. About gazebo, 138 for one. Your second rescue mission, first the camera, now the gazebo. I'm going to take out my phone because this footage could maybe be uploaded to yours. They're broadcasting, taking off. In ways that I want, don't want to be taken off. Exactly. <laughs> this one played the point this time. Cooking, the always if it's just surely not just uh, what do you call it? Velcro. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, but I would say there's potential sabotage involved in this gazebo setup. Well, the uh, brand is called Tough Out. <laughs> I've realised it's missing a piece. Sunday drive. A big cover. I think the biggest challenge here, though, uh, in regards to the gazebo, is uh, how well can I balance on this chair? And how well can the chair hold under the balance? Well, there's that too. Oh, there goes a piece. There, there goes potentially something really important. No, it's just the top of the gazebo, actually. Ends the over. I'll update that score in a second, folks. Just trying to fix this gazebo at the moment. That was the bit that fell off in the first place.
is I've also realised that the camera's just started to freeze as well. Just slide down the ground, I'll pick up one more. One three set, one three. Actually, the PHQ is not working either as, as well. That's the next ball from Mojtaba. And feel for OVW and given much of a has a wicket and they finally found the breakthrough. It's one three eight for two. Quinn Sunday been trapped. He's out for 57 off the bowling of Mujtaba. All that blow we needed then. We needed us to need it. Oh, there. Mike Scalander's the new batter for Takapuna, in, in at number four. Mojtaba has one for 38 in his seventh over. Okay. His first ball back to the bowler. Well, here's a chance here, um, Gerard, for that t tide to turn a little. Definitely open the door a bit. Let's know whether they're going to push it open. Very good opportunity. Good follow up ball for the new batsman. Make him play. Not a loose ball. Hopefully that will give Mushaba rhythm. Another good ball. So uh, I think what they would like potentially is batsman getting off the strike. And play the zip on the other side. And again, I'm sorry I can't help you do this. I'm not sure what to do with it. No. I'm looking skyward, hoping he's got an idea too. Ends over the top. Patel seems to have slipped over. It's 138 for two, a lead of 20 in the first inning. Single off the first ball of Yaya Zeb's new over. 139 for two. The Auckland Aces contracted player. Second game back from injury. Next ball from Zeb. And just pulled round down to backward square. Pick up one more. Mike Sklander's off strike. 140 for two.
Black Caps 42 for 1. Latham and Williamson at the crease. Well, Young dismissed earlier. Still trailing by 52 runs. It's next ball from Zeb, and this one pulled it. Played down off the face. There was cover down there at uh, third man. Pick up one. Lead now 23. Next ball from Zeb, he has to duck underneath this one, this one for the over. Does bowl a heavy ball at times, Yaya Zeb. Drives through cover. Vandenberg down there on the boundary. Sticks it to one. One for two for two. ball and just ducks underneath this one. This one will be wide. One more to the total. Sorry folks, I've just tried to fix the camera but and it's um frozen again. So it's one four four for night. Uh, one four four for two. Four for two. See there's some problems with the weather knocking the camera around unfortunately. Ends the over. So just a bit of a break and hopefully we can get the camera back up and running in the time. First ball of most of his new over is a appeal for RBW. Not given though. Might just have to start things back up again. I do apologise folks, I'll get that live stream back up, same link, um, as soon as I possibly can. Okay, do apologise, but uh, yeah, so just having some issues with this camera. One four four for two at the end of, at the uh, two balls and two much of his new over.
All right, sorry folks, uh, just not having a great day with the technology. Part I use there are two um, Scalanders on 47 now. Thank you for your patience. Sussex tries and drives at this one. Next four from Patel and Scalandas gets off the mark. The single down to short third man. A good point comes around and fields it. Two, three, seven for five. And the over two. Lead of 119 in the first innings. Much of a to bowl again from the netball end, netball centre end here. And only one domain in the North Shore of, uh, of New Auckland, Tapaki Makoto. Sussex on one, backs away, plays this down to cover. Tight bowling here from Mujtaba. So to step down from captaincy in this game. This next ball, and I try it, gets a little bit of an outside edge. Patel having to go and chase will only make it one though. Two, three, eight for five minutes. Actually, yeah. Not hit anything to buy. Drives, pushes up this one, drives it down too long off, and I'll just settle for the one. Two, three, nine for five. Scalanders on 48. Sussex one off 13 deliveries so far. Sussex just plays this back to Mojtava. Hopefully tomorrow we can bring you a better live stream than today. Um, I do apologise, just the mental health has um, not been a great one. Um, due to a poor week that I've had, personally. Um, I'm pretty open about my mental health struggles. I was hoping that uh, a good day at cricket would help. But... Uh, yeah, just some issues. Might have a better sleep t tonight and come back tomorrow for day two. Just a reminder that tomorrow is day two of this match. Played across the weekend rather than Saturday to Saturday. We'll be live streamed from 11am, Sunday the 10th of March.
Jay Patel to start the new over from the car park end. On the left arm over to Scalandis. And just pushes this down to cover. This uh, set, the last session of the day, we're going to finish at uh, 6.30, around 6.30 local time. It's Jay Patel bowling again, and an outside edge, down through third man, and it's four. A bit streaky, but it's 50 for Mike Scalanders. Well struck 50, it was as well. It's 2-4-3 for, for, uh, for 5. Net 50 coming off 47 balls, 4 fours and 3 sixes. As this one's to the left of long off. Chase going on the pick up 2. And be back to back boundaries. As I've clearly pushed the wrong button there just to make the day even better. 247 for 5. Push the right button this time. Towel in again. And. It's a wide ball, outside off stump. Don't see too many wides being bowled in a two day match, but uh, for line but um, that one was definitely as this is going to be a single they might push for two here Sussex will come back and some good running so I'm Desai can't cut it off and that brings up the 250 for Takapuna Districts it's 250 for five lead now of 132 This one's up and over mid wicket and four runs. Two fifty four for five. Scalander's now sixty two. And again, winds up from Scalanders, and this one through cover, four runs. Big over for Tagapuna, 258 for five at the end of it. Scalanders now 66 off 51 deliveries. Mutsliver from the Nepal centre end. Put past five local 
local time. And Sussex just goes back in the crease and defends it. At it. Vandenberg under the helmet there. Having a bit of fun. Much to burn again, and this one down leg side. And, uh, Sussex is looking at that, thinking it might have been wide, but no call from the umpire. As one's up, goes over mid wicket, and the fielder at Cal Corner can't get it off for more. Two sixty two for Much of it now pushing some fielders out to the boundary. Desai going to the three quarter at backward point, and Sussex leaves us alone. Enzi over 262 for five, a lead of 144. Gerard, now that you're in, I've actually connected the mic back and we, we are talking. Actually, what is there to say? Is it, what yep. is there to say? I would say that. Uh, I have let the listeners, I think there's two of them at the moment, um, know the that it's, um, you know, the mental health ain't, isn't great at the moment, so. Yes, everybody is in a, a comment to, to be encouraging him to just stay strong. What are we doing now? Another. Man Bardwaj, he's uh, bowled a few from the netball centre end, now he's bowling from the car park end. Um, Beef, are you perhaps aware whether Daman Baji is injured um, and why he would only bowl three overs? Three I'm wondering overs. that. And uh, scorers have it, been picking their heads, scratching their heads, pondering, wondering. Well, you said why something. Not come back. Similar, didn't you? Um, yeah, we can only imagine he's got an injury. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah's um, more of a workload thing. That's understandable. But yeah, coming back from injury. But, yeah, fair question about Barty. Um, In the side as a bowler? Uh, you think he would bowl? Yeah. Uh, again, only thing I can think of is it's an injury. Look, if I was stuck at Puna, I'll crank it up a bit. Another well, we've seen that the last two overs, um, they've started to up the pace, both batters. Send Eden in for 45 minutes, half an hour. I'd give it half an hour to be honest. Yeah. What a discussion going oh, on between Skalanders and Wichita. Yeah. I mean, Eden Roscoe will have to bat well just to make Takapuna bat again at this stage. As this one's pulled round leg side, Zeb giving chase and he does well to field it. Doesn't prevent the second though. Fielding, 2 6 4 for 5. That sort of thing you'd want from the Eden Roscoe side. That, that, that was done with venom. It was. It, it, Look, yeah, I, I, I would not. From yeah. I would not uh, hold it against them that at this stage, long day in the field, the heads are a bit down, but that's good to see. Yep. Uh, yeah, As this one clubbed down the ground, as Desai having to come round and throw the bowlers in, but they get home safe. Some good running once more. Good fielding though, two six six for five.
Next ball from Bardwaj. This one, first ball of the over that's gone offside. Vandenberg under the uh, lid of the brim. <laughs> yeah, well, I realised what I was, how I was making oh, it that sound. The there we go. He's gonna get under the. Oh, there we go. Well, see, they listened to me, didn't they? Yeah. My understanding is the boys have been summoned for an ice bath tonight after the game back at Eden Rock School and I think it will be well deserved just to shock their bodies before second day's play tomorrow. I might head over to the pub over here um, or, or stay in the club for a couple. Um, I think it's the Backyard Pub Backyard pub. that's over the road here. Um, last time I was here at Only What Domain it was an under 85s game. Um, National Cup against uh, Takapuna taking on Patamahoe from the counties region. If I may ask, um, what is the under 85s? Is that kilos? Under 85 uh, kilos? I was thinking age. I was thinking well, that's <laughs> open to, uh... that, 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 that opens a lot, doesn't it? There's a bit of enthusiasm, some good fielding there. Reniga, I believe. The under 85 National Club Cup that's uh, been taking place the last three seasons and I've done a lot of work with New Zealand Rugby for that. I would have thought that that's counterintuitive, that's, you want... Uh... Yes, this is straight to mid-wicket, Chakraborty doing the fielding. Next ball from Bardwaj. And this one's hit down with some venom to mid on. Some horror stories about rugby, were you saying there, Gerard? Uh, yeah. Youngsters. The Enzi story was from. Enzi over, 267 for five. Back in South Africa, that bulking up. 12, 13 year olds that trying to get over 100 kg. Uh, I've got two nephews down in Hamilton that attend St. John's College. Nice. Um, they're actually off to South Africa for the first and second 15 for a tour oh. later on the year. They will enjoy it, I am sure. I think um, when I said to them at the end of last year, what's your plans for next year? They go, well, we're going back to school, but we're only doing it for one reason. <laughs> Don't blame you. Uh, they've um, been talking about this trip to South Africa that St. John's are doing for their first and second 15 sides. I think they used to go every two years before COVID. And this might be like the first or second trip that's happened since. So. No, no, there's quite a few uh, school trips. Much to about driving down and a what long extra cover, if you can call it that. Can't prevent the single, 268 for five. Uh, prior to COVID, a lot of schools travelling either South Africa, Europe, Australia, participate cricket. Rappi are the codes, and uh, obviously COVID put a halt to that for a couple of years, but it's good to hear that schools are able to do that again. Vandenberg under the lid again. Much to that. Rolling. Defensively forward. I think he's just recently turned 37, I believe. Didn't you say it was his birthday yeah, week? It is. It yep. was. Big celebrations by the team. This one's flicked off the pads. If I pick up two. two 270 for five. <laughs> uh -oh. Sussex with that two moves to seven. Scalander's at the other end, 72. 72. I assume we want to get his 100 first before there's any talk about a declaration. This one's cut down to wide mid off. And a single more to the total. 271 for five. Well, it's funny about my nephews. Like, um, first thing I ever live streamed was them playing down in Topol in a um, Global Games Festival, New Zealand Junior Rugby Festival um, tournament down there. Um, used to use a lot of their um, rugby. As this one's flicked behind square on the leg side. And I'll pick up two. 
27 straight for five. I used to use a lot of a lot of the rugby just to test things and um, sharpen re- your craft. Yeah, this is when I first started live streaming. Um, but one of the great questions I'd, I'd love to ask people, because not many people would know this, but um, and there's a link back to my nephews here. As this is one down through third man, chase for Chusafi going on. I'll pick it up two. And I'll turn down a third, 275 for five. Lead of 157. NZ over. Yeah, 275 for five. So the biggest question is, who live streamed and commentated the last ever Northern Roller Mills tournament? My brother-in-law, when I first said that to him, goes, who was the winning open side flanker in the last Roller Mills? What's hilarious is that one of the twins go, who? It was him. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So I assume that's what a national tournament or no? So it's the northern region, basically, from Northland down to Taranaki, involving Thames Valley, King Country, counties, Auckland, Waikato, Auckland East, Auckland West, North Harbour. So regional. Yeah. Um, last tournament was held at St Paul's, uh, St Peter's School in Cambridge, with Waikato beating uh, Bad Plenty. Actually, it was. This is a single down behind square on the leg side. I was going to say if it was St Peter's in uh, Mount Eden, that would be quite difficult to They only have the cage, not the rugby field. No, but it's a decent field that they have. It is, but yeah, you're just not going to have a, necessarily a competition. I've attended the match there, and it's quite intimidating. The well, I've only watched, I've only been there once, and I was actually photographing for St. Bede's um, College in Christchurch. Um, just cut down a couple of cover sweepers there. Vandenberg loses his hat. Loses the ball too, but uh, I think there was going to be two no- nonetheless. And I tell you what, one of the things I sort of love about doing this, um, Jared, is that I walked in, I was allowed to go um, inside the cage, inside the playing area. Hopefully not while they were on the field. Well, no, no, I was off the field, but you know, I didn't have to stand on the sidelines as this one's through. Backward point! And four more to the total. Two, eight, two for five. This lead is just getting bigger and bigger for Takapuna. Hopefully the mic was off while you said that. Please. What? I think the lead was... Oh, the, the, the bigger bit. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, Gerard. You should know there's a difference between, uh, you know, me being off and on with the mic. I'm sure the few listeners out there with the storm... Even Roscoe supporters. So well, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple of um, Tucker supporters as well. It's, well, it was a bit of an interesting. To the pavilion, the clubhouse, and support their team in person. Yeah, it's been a bit quiet. I think there's a couple of people under the trees at some point here. It's time for a long pants. There's Scalandis goes down to cover. Pick up a single. No players. It's an interesting thing here. I think there is no one inside the imaginary circle. Everyone yeah, on the boundary. Yeah, keep them getting singles. I mean, you can go for the big, big shot if they want to get boundaries. Two, eight, three for five. Well, if you unless you bowl where there's no field. Well, that too. Is it could be a retrieval mission. No, they'll pick up two. And um, no, what I was saying is I went into the, you know, in there, the schools are all lined up along the side, and I was like, you know, doodly doodly, one kid, there was one kid stuck his hand out as I was walking past. The result of that is that's end of the over, 285 for one, was that the rest of them then stuck out their hand, because I gave that one kid a high five, the rest of them did it. <laughs> they just wanted to give and, him a touch of... Uh... Of the greatness, you reckon? <laughs> that strengths. A couple of inroads from Eden Roskill, but uh, 
It is still Takapuna in dominance. They have a lead of 157 halfway through the last session here on day one. All right, back after the drinks break. Much to the bowling, and Scalanders gets a run off the first ball down to Ford Square Leg. <coughs> Moves to 84. Sussex 11 off 29. Having a quick chat to the umpires, saying it's turning at both ends, but uh, not as much as it was in the first session of today's play. Looks as though Eskimo's turned up as Sussex just edges this one down off the face of the bat deliberately. Picks up two. Where, this, where did the Eskimo come from, Gerard? It's, the wind is it's just chilly. It's chilly, is it? Okay. Especially in the shade, but 
Don't want to burn in the sun, so he's... No, I think my left leg's copped it, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Today? Although I've sat in the shade many a times, and then the rays from the bouncing off the ground have burned it, but that's not always a guarantee. That so this one's down to extra cover. Yes. An interesting phase, this. Uh, Eden Ross score is they're not careful, can let this slip away. Yeah, the lead 170 at the moment. Slow one from Mojtabar and a little bit, bit of turn there. I would like to maybe just do a slip in there, just stop him from playing that silly turn. Yeah, Vandenberg, a silly mid uh, a very short leg. This one played back to Mojtabar. A reminder there'll be highlights and photos posted to Bev's broadcasting in coming days. I'm happy to say, uh, Gerard, I've actually caught, finally caught up with all my highlights. I didn't, what's well, not aware you did highlight, that's good yep. to know. So that's, uh, that's there'll be a single B-E-D. down to mid on. Long off, sorry, 289 for 5 at the end of the over. Scalander's 84 up. Sussex 13. Mujtaba brings up his 100 off that last ball. 3 for 100. Yeah, off 19 not overs. Not the 100 that he would have hoped for. No. Would have preferred it in the first part of the inning when he was batting, but. Oh. Iman Bardwaj to continue from the car park end. You were talking off here about ECBC. I thought you meant ECB. India have been bowled out on day three for 477, a lead of 259 in the fifth and final test. Down in Christchurch, though. The Nelson comes up for New Zealand. And Williamson's fallen victim to him. Oh no. Oh no. In his, in his hundred test, how many runs did he score? 50. 51 off 107 deliveries in his hundreds. It would be difficult to bat on one leg. Interesting. He's played at the crease. Umpire Shepherd, who used to hop about Where's on the... one leg. In the oh yes, yeah, sorry. I was thinking. Hang on. What do you mean oh, but on batting on one leg? Well, you're supposed to actually have your feet off the ground. I know, but it's a bit difficult. When you yeah. When you when you got bat in hand. Not quite what it meant by Chris Goodwin. So. Named after the famous Lord Horatio Nelson, who was believed to have one arm, one eye, and one leg. So one, one, one. Uh, but I believe he. He definitely only had one eye, but I think it was one uh, one arm and both legs he had. Bardwaj not tempting. Uh, the batter here, but Scalander's, uh, sorry, Sussex. There was a slip in place for Bardwaj. You asked for one. This one's played through mid on. Chase going on here for. Swam him to sight and doesn't prevent the two. 291 for five. Yeah, I forgot David Shepard used to hop on one leg he as the umpire. He was very superstitious when he came to the oh, batsman making the fielding side work here to move the side swim. That's a bit rough. Back and forth. Very good tactic, I think, from him. But I think now Takapuna's uh, might be getting a few. I think um, Desai and the other Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting players gone one way and then he's asked them to go back the other. Lead now 173. 183. Uh, 
yeah, 173, sorry. And this one down leg. Patel does well. You know, going back to what you're asking about the highlights, um, when, it, when I've got it set up properly, because I was being too fancy last week um, and forgot to change, the, change things back, I missed the first session to do with highlights. I'm going to have to go through it myself. Um, I just need to press a button and it clips what I've got it as 20 seconds. Okay. And then I just shorten it from there. And add it together. Yeah. This one's driven down to long off. And I pay, pay, pick up a single more to the total. 292 for 5. We have reached 540, so technically it's still 45 minutes left in. 50 minutes, sorry, left in the day's play. Just under 50 minutes left, yeah. Into the oval. So at this stage, doesn't look like any declaration. And I've tried to be generous to Takapuna. It's actually 291 for 5, not 292. Well, Going back to the uh, se second test, Tom Latham on 55, being joined by Rachin Ravindra, who's on one. Another. I don't know, you know, he's, he's, at, he's only at the start of his career. He definitely has the figures in first class cricket to back up his um, uh, rating. I, I think if you look at somebody like India's Sarfaraz, who has played, I don't know how many matches, scored about 7,000 runs at an average of 70, right? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Days. Quite quickly, you get roped up to the highest levels without really cementing your technique. Sussex waving drives back to Mojtaba. Hey, crowd sketch. This one cut and Barty does the fielding at cover. Would uh, the people that in the Hagley Oval still be awake with Latham at the helm there? Yeah, well, it's about time he's scored a few runs and oh, it's a bit of a misfield at mid off. They generally but, say um, it no matter run. how the runs come about, but I think in his, in his case he does because. With his magic wand in his hands, he generally puts me to sleep. Yeah, but like I'm mean, up his, his runs. He, you know, and he, but he does it and does it well though. Well, he does. It's, you need to ask yourself why are you there? Is it to score runs or to entertain? We'd say a bit of both, but he obviously feels it's just to score runs. Well, I mean, as it ends the over, it is two nine two for five, lead of one hundred and seventy four. Very much reminds me of um, South Africa's Algar. No, what I I was going even further back than Algar. I was thinking of um, nope, Englishman. Boycott. He was yes, Jeffrey Boycott. What was Jeffrey Boycott's nickname? Uh, put you to sleep. Eh? Worse than sleep. His nickname. His nickname literally was Death with Pads On. Because of how, boy I mean, Boycott scored a famous 20-odd not out opening the innings in the first World Cup, but it was off about 120 balls. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, uh, <laughs> Hence why he was death with pads on. That in modern day cricketer is expected to score runs, but score them fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, Latham does love batting at Hagley Oval. I think his average is around 70 at Hagley. Playing a miss. From Scalanders. Yep, sorry. 190, was it? Not too many balls. Said he wish he played like that his whole career. Wasn't Elgar part of that famous South African innings when they scored, when they just would try, I think it was in Sri Lanka, in a test match and they were trying to draw the match and they had about two off. 
50 balls or something like that. No, no, it was deliberately like they, they knew they couldn't win, so they were just dead batting every ball. They oh. didn't, they lost it, they lost um, the outright. One. There's the one. As Patel bowls from the uh, um, car park end. This one clipped off the pads from Sussex. Gets a single. The great 360 player scored one of his slowest innings, 30 in the end of him and I think five. ABD, you're talking about? ABD, yeah. yeah. At some point, it looked like they could reach the total. I think I'm. I think we're talking about that same game. Where, yeah. That was, a, I think, the one where when they gave up and he scored like 30 or 200 balls. Yeah. And it was. Someone Germany or Boss on the other side with him who just It was two batters that could hit the ball but just weren't. <laughs> they were dead batting everything. I think the Aussies have done it as well somewhere. That might be the Sri Lankan game. Fair enough if you can save a game, but Yeah. You you talking about, you know, Dean Elgar scoring one fifty and then being dropped in a couple of tests. I think the most famous one, and I don't know where I was, and that somebody was rubbishing um, Jason Gillespie. Now, do, do, do you know the story about Jason Gillespie's last Test match that he played for Australia before being dropped? Playing against Bangladesh in Bangladesh is Safi. Sorry, it's not Jay Patel. It's Shish Safi. Right arm over. I was thinking that. Uh, didn't realise. Jay Patel was that ambidextrous. Um, yeah, so Jason Gillespie got dropped after playing in ba- playing Bangladesh in Bangladesh, came in as a night watchman, and to this day still remains the only night watchman ever to score a double century. And because, but because of his bowling, he got dropped the next match and never played for Australia again. <laughs> so single off his pads. Yeah. Reniga comes in, prevents the second. Back to my original story, it was AB and Amla. Yes. Amla scoring 25 of 244 balls. At his 25 of a, sorry. 25 of 240 balls. 240 balls, nice. Strike rate of 10. AB de Villiers apparently just lays in, in case he's three. 250 ball minutes. 250 minutes, yeah. 43 of 297 balls with a strike rate of 14. For Mr. 360, that's amazing. It shows he had the complete game. Oh, he did. Um, so a beautiful photo. Smoochie runs in. Oh. Vandenberg, bit of the crowd catch. <laughs> Thinking think he might have taken that one hand, one bounce. They've rolled. I'll try to be generous to Damien here. Again, saw a beautiful photo the other day. I think it was round about, oh, I don't know. Yes, this one played down to mid-wicket. It's going to be in 2000 ish 2001 maybe. A school photo who contained the first 11. Next ball from Mojtaba. And this one hit down to mid-on. Renega comes around and cuts it off. I won't... I, we can't mention this in commentary, but I'll show you the greatest photo, and it involves Quinton de Kock and a West Indian player. I'll show it online, eh? I'll show you. Um, Paint the picture. Really. No, I can't. It's a problem. This is too long off. It's a mid off. Come and have a look at this. It's one of the greatest photos of crickets, cricket history. Quentin de Kock standing next to uh, one of the West Indian players. <laughs> well, there was one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll at least say that the West Indies player, his first name is Dinesh. I won't say, uh, well, we can say his last name, it's Ramden. Well, there's the one with him and, uh, and an Indian player. There's an ex-war from Mojtaba and just a full defensive stroke. Then there's in the hundred. I've seen. Ends, ends the over. It is 2-9-4 for 5. 
So yes, there's one with Quinton batting I think and Indian bowler bowling to him. Which is also quite funny. Um surname Pandya. Yeah. There there is a school book somewhere that reads um, and I'm trying to think of the guy's name. Jay Kennedy. Bold Jay Kennedy. I don't know what the odds of that is, is that, that both named Jamie, both spelt the same way. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, Jamie Kennedy, the one that I know specifically, um, played for Horiki Plains College, one of my, uh, which is uh, where I attended. It's a single down to cover. Can't keep uh, Vandenberg out of out of the action at the moment. Some clouds building up in the background. Here. Don't think any. Uh immediate danger no I think Hopefully with 40 minutes overnight so we can have a good day to play tomorrow again because it's lovely sitting here yep. watching some great cricket other than that bitingly cold southerly almost it feels don't think it's quite coming from the south but yeah it's the next ball from Safi at the, not at the uh, car park end here's a trivia question for you this time what is the largest desert in the world No, it's not the Sahara. The one in Chile? No. Okay. It's very chilly, the de this desert, but it's not ch in Chile. Chile desert. Yeah, well, any desert is quite chilly at night, isn't it? No, no. Talking about chilly most of the time. So this one's off the pads, down to fine leg. Yeah. And Chakraborty does the fielding. One more to the total. Tell me, dude, Antarctica. A desert is defined by something that has very little rain, and Antarctica has bugger all rain. I'm not sure, I'm sure the sand is all dry. No, no. I was actually watching um, oh, something on Facebook videos. Oh, no, that's not and incredible. It, and, no, 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 no. There's a no ball called, and I'll hit it to cover. He must be single. close to his hundred. 297 for 5. Moves to 84 of 62 deliveries. Been on 80, been in his 80s for quite a while now. Well, I think it's because the other batsman, what's his name? Jordan Sussex. Has just been hogging the strike. For the last couple of days. I have to say, like, literally if you look up the largest desert in the world. I'm going to do that. Um, I've got Google. Yeah. And I'll confirm it with Wikipedia. Yeah, well, you have to confirm it with Wikipedia, otherwise it's not true. Um, but no, this Facebook video page, and they're asking general trivia questions. And um, I, was, I was like, oh, they actually have said that correctly. It is Antarctica. That's not how I knew about it. I, I've known for years that Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. It's my average rainfall or something like that. Yeah, that, yeah, you de determine as this one is taken. Five. And the six wicket falls. Jordan Sussex gone. It's uh, I'm not too sure who's actually taking that catch, but the six wicket falls. Two ninety-seven for six.
There's Edward Milton at the crease. Closes this off his pads. Brings up the 300 for Takapuna. 300 for six. Just had to go and tell the scorers that Play HQ had gone down. Middleton that had um, his first five wicket bag is much to our appealing and I'll pick up two. Just wait to see if that's run. It is. You don't have a second jersey there, do you? Gerard? I've got mine covering the camera. Uh, covering the mic, sorry. Oh, sorry, I don't. Um, a bit chilly there, is it? Yeah, it is definitely chilly here. Yeah. You didn't when, uh, you did go for the hoodie but you're using it as a mic cover. I've got long pants that you potentially can use to cover the mic. Pants, sorry, oh, I think I'll be okay speed. for the next half an hour. Okay. Looks as though Takapuna are going to be carrying on batting to stumps. No um, real hesitation, no real um, push towards a declaration at the moment. The lead 185. Okay, 303 now. for six. Batsman wanting to get to his milestone first, I would think. And he rather wants to get there than rush, make a mistake. Get out. Well, time's on Takapuna's side, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. I think you would want to go, I mean, your first priority would be the outside one, but. There's a dot, half a chance. Cartwheels there, by. Swam to sight. Standing captain. Single down to cover. Still no players in close. 304 for six. At the end of the over. <laughs> Scalanders moves into the 90s. Middleton three at the crease. Mind we'll be back at 11 a.m. tomorrow, Sunday the 10th of March for day two. Takapuna having to play uh, two Sundays in a row actually in the Jeff Crow Cup final next uh, Sunday against East Coast Base. Oh, did they both bang? Well, they, got eight, uh, they got eight overs in last Sunday. Uh, I thought they were just tan but okay. No, they've got a reserve day as Shia Safi and from the car park end in this ball played down to Renega. Forecast for tomorrow, Luke, have you oh no, I was going to ask you. Uh, to see what the gods are doing. Sunny, of rain. Ah, fair enough. There we go then. So, should have no issue with play tomorrow, weather-wise. Hopefully, the wind dies down. As the next ball, and just played to Renega again from Middleton. Yeah, I hope for my equipment sake, Gerard, that uh, the wind does die down tomorrow, because I'm um, taking a bit of battering today. I'd say equipment and just the weather. It's the next ball. And this one driven down the ground. I pick up two. And they get this safely, 306 for six.
Nick spoils the dot. Just uh, changing the camera setup. Sorry, folks, just because of the uh, fielders being in our way at the moment. Easier for us to uh, change the setup than it is to ask the fielder to move. This one's played just to the left of mid off. And a quick single looking at the uh, expressions on Jay Patel, uh, on Shia Safi's face. Might have been close if the hit had taken. But didn't know, that's uh, the main thing. 307 for 6. One ball left in the 55th over of the innings. Safi bowling to Scalanders and this will be wide. Oh, it's a no ball. I was just going to say off the pitch by the look of that. It um, sums up Eden Roskill's day really. Next ball from Patel, uh, from Safi, and this one's just played to Vandenberg at cover. It's a dot, in the over. 308 for six. Lead of 190 at the moment. First ball of the new over from Wichita, Peel, but um, more enthusiastic than Chance. He's responsible for ice. Vandenberg at short cover. It's taking the catch. And the seventh look at falls at 308 for seven. Middleton dismissed. Gerard Vandenberg might be a relation, saying he'll be happy with that. Don't want to say on air, still contesting, but I've accepted. <laughs> Much the first ball to the new batter. 
It's uh, Toby's Strawbine. Strawbint. It's a spinner these days. It wasn't used in the uh, first innings. That's Vandenberg. Misses out on one. Lichtaba has four for 107 at the moment. Two balls to come in his over. It's 309 for seven. No, that's what I'm saying. He's dropped it. <laughs> Brings uh, Scalandis back on strike. 90 off 74 deliveries. Eight fours, three sixes in that innings of his. This one backs away, cuts it down to Chakraborty. At deep extra cover. Takes the singles. I, th I think it's just one of the RFU. The RFU, and they need yep. to go and look for those. Focus on those. I think the other thing you could easily do, which would be probably just as beneficial, just uh, go to the back to the whiteboard and blow it up. Start again. Still a bit to play. There's still three days left of the season, uh, but it does look as though next season Eden Roscoe will be relegated. So this one's back Very into the crease. Days. Plays it down to deep square. And more to the title. Down to the Tom Hallaby competition. It's 3 1 1 for 7. Lead of 193. Sure, Safi bowling to Toby Strubent. Number nine. There's an appeal for caught behind. I was hurried up a little bit there, but uh, nothing happening. Next ball from Safi and Patel is standing up to the stumps. Bit of oohs and ahs going on. Ten past six local time. This one beats the outside edge again. If you really want to, I'll get it back and then you can go fetch. You can play fetch it. I'll tell you what, there was some uh, inexperienced bat there was an ex inexperienced batter that I was bowling to in the uh, tea break. And he uh, did make me go and look behind me, look up and over. I'm more than happy to, if that's what's going to make you feel better, having to run and go fetch balls. And... I was um, playing in a game at uh, Shore Road. As an appeal for caught behind, and no movement, both the keeper and bowler up, and I, I bowled a ball, and I watched it over my head, looked at the umpire, and I go, and he signalled six, I go, mate, he's South African too, and I go, mate, you didn't even watch that, he goes, I knew it was six, and I go, yeah, funny enough, so did I when it left the bat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They say the truth hurts. This is another good ball here from Southeast. Very good over this one, Gerard. Hey, very good over. It has been. If you're going, yeah. I think it's testing the of, edges. Well, standing up, maybe just changes the length of it because it's different. Yeah, it's been the length. Back up a good one and uh, accident driving a few times. Maybe that's where this wind's coming from. All this swishing. Swish. Come forward and plays this. And no run taken. Ends the over. It's 3 1 1 for 7 and 8 and from Sheer uh, Safi. As a bowler, um, Gerard, I've actually won more games than bat. <laughs> I don't think I've ever won. I don't think I've ever won a game with a ball, but uh, definitely have won games with a bat. I, I can I recall would. two that I, I can recall two games that I've um, won with the bat. Just tell me quickly, did you buy that wallet at uh, Cricket Express? No, it was in a, a um, an Australian brand. A, a Australian company makes them. But I think Cricket Express they must uh, import them because that's where I saw them. Oh, okay. Various, yeah, like theme of the cricket. Let's see if I can show the uh, camera people what we're talking about. Then show the viewers. inside and then scare them with the amount of... No, no, I wasn't going to go and step, step in front of the camera, Gerard. This one's played down to backward square leg. And then pick up a single. This is the uh, wallet we're talking about. Looks pretty much like a cricket ball with a seam as well. Very beautiful. Is... I must have stepped in front of it, because there goes the camera. Scared it. Camera is picking up amount of money and see mm. there's too much in your one. Oh, must be. The one is like, beautiful and quite dear. So, uh, yeah, my partner brought it for me. Oh, she's, she's loving it. As much of his next ball and bit of an outside edge from Struven. You can find it out that one. quite a few times when he's not missing it. Three one three for seven. Lead nearing two hundred. I think we're gonna have to manually keep the camera. On.
All right, 320 for seven. Max Glanders on 92. Toby Strudman on nine. It's Glanders that's on strike. Tristan Van Ingen, Kit Carl already with a century today. It pushes outside this one from Safi. I see Steven Seagull still around, Gerard, oh, on the other side of the screen. Steven Seagull when, he was, uh, when I was younger. Gets a lot of bad rap for his movies that I seem to do. This is one's played up and over long off and will race away for runs. Moves to 96 now. An interesting actor, isn't he? Um, not call him an actor, but... <laughs> Played a vital role in the 90s action genre. Oh, it did, yeah. It certainly did, Stephen Seagull. Um, yeah, probably went a bit over. At some point being a, a marshal or some, something. He also did play the movie. Um, played in a movie called The Patriot. He did. Very small role, though. Um, no, 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 no. So there's the. I think you're talking about Mel Gibson's movie. The no, Patriot. I'm talking, no, I'm talking about this one where... It was a couple of years before. I think The Patriot is uh, Mike Galanders moves to 97, that single. A um, couple of years before, but he was actually star of that The Patriot movie, which was about a, a micro biohazard sort of thing. The one I'm thinking of is, which I was very, very disappointed about, was a Stephen Seagull and... Here's the next ball from Safi. And edged and taken at first slip. Much to the has it. And it's 3 2 5 for 8. Safi has a wicket. Good, Russell. And Steven Seagal, he talked to me about the president's plane being taken over with one of those. Oh, I know the one you're talking about. But Steven Seagal played like a five minute role in it. And then the main character in the end was, I think, Kurt Russell. So that was a bit disappointing when you expected a bit of fists flying and etc. Yeah, no, there's literally a movie called The Patriot two years before The Patriot. Um, Mel Gibson's independence, uh, you know, American independence movie. It's probably my favourite uh, Steven Seagal movie. As Matt Jones walks to the crease in the fourth for Rory today. Cheers, Safi. And again, again, just no interest there from Jones. Ends the over. 325 for 8. 620, just gone past 620 pm. We're entering into the last 10 minutes of the day if uh, Eden Roskill, pro water blasting, manages to bowl out. Take a pruner here. Uh, they won't be batting tonight. Ten minute change around for innings.
outside Mujtaba chasing his fifth wicket. Bowls, and this one played down to cover. Are they eight down? Or? Yeah, eight down. Eight down. Yeah. I was hoping for a nine, but okay, it's good. Mike Scalander's on 97, sweeps, plays this through, middle wicket, a good square, and it's four. And that is the hundred for Mike Scalander's. Well struck 100, Gerard. Very well struck 100, well deserved. 329 for four, 8. And there's a single behind square on the leg side. 330. Tristan Van Ingen, Van Ingen Carl bringing up a hundred earlier today. Might be a free license here from Takapuna to take a single to the mid wicket boundary. Maybe take off the glasses, then it's not as dark. Oh, the umpire definitely gave us, took the glasses off, took his sunnies off um, ago, quite a while ago. Down the wicket goes Struvent. Down to long off. And they go pick up two. Some good running there from uh, Scalander's going to the danger end. Brings up the triple Nelson. 3-3-3 three, three, three for eight. Next ball from Budstava. And plays this down to Vandenberg. More to the total. Lead now 216 at the end of the over. 3 3 4 4 8. Shir Safi from the car park end as this one's flicked round and will be four runs. When luck's on your side, it's on your side. It's 338 for eight. Thank you for your patience through today. Back at 11 a.m. tomorrow for day two. Takapuna with the lead of 220 at the moment. Possibly another over after this. I was going to say, Gerard, that was a good throw from Neil Patel with his gloves on, but then realised, no, he'd taken it off to throw it. <laughs> Irons up, goes to Reniga at cover. They pick up one. Struvent goes down the ground and we'll pick up four through him long on. Three, four, three for eight. 
it's a, sorry, it's uh, Matt Jones that's in, but um, it's Scalanders that's doing the batting. I'm sure the uh, streamer wouldn't mind too much. He's on the Nelson, he got your legs up there. Are you hopping on one leg, uh, Gerard? It's 111. No, no, because I wonder we could just walk No, fair enough, too. I've got my feet firmly on the ground. Scalanders waits again. And, oh, just through the hands of Desai. There'll be two more to the total. A hard chance. But a chance nonetheless. Three, four, five for eight. I'm playing off the pads. Single turn down. Oh, come on. To apologise for that, there, folks. Just the uh, language is ninth wicket will fall. I'm on Budweiser coming round, and it's three, four, five for nine. Shisafi has his third. Then Matt Jones dismissed for seven off eight deliveries. One four in that one. As Peter Ruffle walks to the crease, is number 11. Ends the over as well. Mike Scalander's on 111. First ball of much is over. It's the last over of the day. Promise. No run taken. It's been a long day, but it's been a wonderful day of cricket. Action all round. Yep. And Takapuna have deserved it as watch out cars on the ro road. What it is big. It is six. What will happen if you hit a car? Oh, surely you get bonus points, don't you? Brownie points? The uh, 350 comes up for Takapuna, 351 for 9. We need to wait for the traffic lights, or as we call them in South Africa, robots chip in. You can say it's safe for the young 18 year old to cross the road. It's being hit by a Mazda. I think uh, there's a bit of jaywalking going on there from Vandenberg. Well, there I don't think can. he's waited for the light. <laughs> no, no, it's green, other cars are. Oh, I guess okay, so now it's green down there, but. Uh, no, it's all right. It's still, uh, you know, it hasn't turned off yet. So, four balls left in the day. Dominated by Takapuna. Six wicket bag from Edward Middleton. Four wickets from Matt Jones, dismissing Eden Roskill for 118. Is this one is over long on and all the way again six more 357 for nine fun not quite in the sun but uh, depending on who you which side of the field you're in northern districts 126 for two on day three 
Day two, sorry. Lead of 215 against Auckland Aces. As this is straight over long on. And the third six of the game, third six of the over. Three, six, three for nine. New Zealand at stumps, 134 for two in these second innings, a lead of 40 runs against Australia. Next ball, oh, this one's up and over. And I think he might have saved this from six. He has. He's injured himself as well. Down at mid-wicket, but didn't quite make the boundary. Next ball from Mujtaba. Reverse switch hit comes out. Skillanders misses finally. And that is Stumps on day one. No, sorry. Still playing. Oh, get. Oh, looks as though we're going to have the extra half an hour here, Gerard. I was getting carried away. I'd really had enough of today. You've told that to the Takapuna players up there. Having fun while I cut it short, let's continue. Yeah, fair enough. It's been some good hitting. Um, I'll compare this to a round of golf where I shot 125. Two rounds? <laughs> half a round, okay. Cher Safi from the car park end. It's dead battered back to the bowler. Second ball from Safi. Rolling to Ruffle. And hits it to Renega. And Renega's taking the catch. It's short mid wicket. And that'll end the innings and the day. Take your camera off so you can see All out for 363. It's a lead. They'll be back tomorrow. With a lead of 245. Till then, folks, Kaki Tia North.